When buying or selling your home, call Leo Bato. He has years of experience in real estate, showing honesty and integrity in every transaction. He's a person you can definitely trust. So book your appointment with Leo Bato today by giving him a call at 818-648-4837 or by visiting him on the web at www.leobato.realtor. This episode is brought to you by ABBA eServices. And the podcast will begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, finally live at Paco's Place, Sponge Colas, Yael Houston. Woo! Super happy to be here, man. Um, Nakatawa, gusto ko agad itanong. Talaga? Ano, may, may question agad ako eh. Ako pa yung may question agad eh, no? Uh, Kuya Paco, uh, yung interview po ba scripted? Ah, hindi. Ang scripted lang dito eh. The podcast will begin. Eh, diba? Eh. Napanood ko na kasi yun eh. Napanood ko yun eh. Pinapanood ko lagi ito eh. Pag nagugusta ko ng pinggan, pinapanood ko. Pero thank uh-huh. you, no? Thank you for for doing, for supporting. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making the trip. Super happy. Pati yung ano pa lang, maski yung in the house. Pa ako in the house. Tagal na nun. 12, yep. 10 years ago yun. Yep, yep, yep. So, yung mga pinaka mga nauna sa YouTube wave of, ano, of, uh, podcasts and interviews and here we are here we are it's part parang sarap maging part eh kasi dati pinapanood ko lang to eh so ngayon and you know what ang maganda nga is um, ilang beses natin pinaplano to finally ang gusto ko sa'yo and, and I, I have to let people know this alam mo yung feeling na pag may initiative galing sa isang artist na katulad mo nakakataba ng puso para sa amin eh because ang dali-dali to just you know what next time na lang yan next time na lang yan you tried, we tried, we did it virtually para sa Paco's Place exclusive. Pero ikaw mo nga na, you know what, iba, iba yung nandito ka, iba yung organic, magkahanap oh, tayong dalawa. Oh. And dito sa trip mo na to, ano, G ba tayo sa October 19? Game! Oh, yun yung exact message, no? Yes. Ganun na ganun yung nakatype. Uh, yun talaga eh. Kasi ano rin eh, I'm, gonna, I'm only gonna be here five days. <clears throat> and thank you for, for taking the time. So, yeah. Ako naman magtatanong sa'yo. Ago, okay, game. So, nung umalis ako ng Pilipinas, bata ka pa noon. Okay. Okay, but I'm not sorry. Para mukha pa 'to yung impolite ko. Hindi kasi, hindi kasi, just... kasi ano nakakatawa na na I'm very proud of you. I Aww. I mean, I I say this off cam, but I'll say it on cam. I've seen you and your brother grow. Uh nung nagpunta si Yan dito, si Yani, nagkwentuhan kami kagad kasi at that time he was playing guitars for for Ellie. Yeah, yeah. So nagkwentuhan kami tapos kinamusta kita. Pag nakikita tayo randomly nang wala naman tayong ginagawa dito sa Amerika, we always high five, we always talk. Yeah, yeah. And I, I said kanina, there's a kinship na I'm very proud of kayong dalawa na kung ano narating nyo. Nung umalis ako, wala ka pa sa mapa. Yeah. Now, hawak mo na ang mapa eh. Wah! Hindi, ano lang, parang, di ko alam. Wala akong maisip na magandang metaphor for it eh. Pero, I just, uh, we've been playing. And Pero how did it start? Like, nung alam ko nung, magkaka- nung nakikita kita when you guys were growing up, alam ko meron gigil na kayo eh. Gusto yeah. nyo nang tumugtog eh. Yeah. Pero maraming tao na gigil mm. but they don't take the first step. Yeah. What made you take the first step? Alam ko na panood mo kami nung bata ka and all yeah, that yeah. stuff. Pero you are your own man eh. Alam mo yun? Yung tipong you made a name for yourself you're very influential. People listen to you. People are inspired by you. Isa na ako doon. Mm-hmm. How did it start? Well, <clears throat> nag-start talaga siya with songwriting eh. Kasi nung, nung lumabas yung mga bands nung 90s, yun yung time na bata rin naman ako noon. Mm-hmm. Tapos, yun yung ina-absorb mo lang like a sponge. Wow. Yeah. Lahat ng makita mo na parang yung mundo, ikaw yung target ng mga songs kasi bata ka, ikaw yung yeah. iba. So, um, for some reason, Ang response ko kasi sa, sa pag natuwa ako sa isang bagay, hindi yung kaya ko rin, parang kaya ko rin gayahin yan. Ang mindset ko agad, kaya ko gumawa ng ganyan. I mean, gets mo, parang, I, parang yep. I can also write songs. So without have without knowing how to play guitar at all, nagsimula ako mag, magsulat ng songs, pero one hand lang. Kasi hindi ako marunong mag-gitara eh. So walang chords, ano lang, open strings, yeah. E, A, uh, B. Eh, kasi pag may E ka, tsaka may A ka, madali oh, na eh. Yan, eh. Oh, yeah. Solve ka na dun eh. So yun, nag-start ako magsulat ng kanta. Tapos parang ang cinematic nung simula ng music life ko eh. Kasi I remember, nakasulat ko na yung song, tapos na- re-record ko sa tape deck, yung tape side A, side B, tapos parang papatungan mo, tapos bigla mag-warp ng konti pero okay lang. Tapos narinig ng kuya ko, parang ano to? Ano tong play niya eh? Ano, ano tong ginagawa mo? Kanta mo yan? Sinulat mo? Ganda. Tapos sabi ko, hindi ko alam ano yung ginagawa ko. Sabi niya, alam ko yung ginagawa mo. Uh, gusto mo jam natin? 
So, parang scene sa movie talaga. Yung kuya ko, kinuha yung gitara na isa, tapos ako may hawak akong gitara, tapos naalala ko pa ang suot niya nun, kakaligo lang niya eh. Tapos plinay niya yung tape eh. So, ang suot lang niya, towel, na puti. <laughs> sa hallway kasi parang boys naman kami tapos parang nakatawel lang siya ganyan tapos parang nagigitara siya for some reason expert siya na hindi malaglag yung towel ano eh parang kung may gitara ka maiipit mo yun eh tapos wala namang strap yung gitara din and so um ginawa ko yung riff the song is actually na- nasa third fourth album namin yung song eh so ginawa ko yung riff parang one hand tapos sinabayan niya e tapos a tapos e tapos ang ganda ng kanta na to tapos nagjamming kami para first time namin magjam that way tapos parang doon ko na feel yung magic na Ganito pa rin tunog kapag right. may dalawa dalawa kayong nagigitara tapos kumakanta ng song. Tapos nagbabacking vocal sa ganyan kuya ko eh. Ilang taon kanon? Siguro mga 11, 12, Kaya mga ganun, mga ganun age. So, tapos yung lyrics pa nung nung song na yun, medyo parang ano, medyo parang dark for a kid. Kasi parang I was emulating lyrically like parang the Nirvana thing. Yung yeah. medyo ano, medyo angsty. Uh-huh. Um, parang ano, uh, disenfranchised youth kind of thing. So, yun, uh, doon nag-start tapos eventually nangyari kuya ko binigyan ako ng ano jingle magazine na chord chart. Tapos sabi niya magdagdag ka lang kahit matuto ka ng one chord a day or something parang ito D. Right, right, right. Tapos hanggang ma-perfect mo yung D tapos ang next na yung bar chords eh yun yung masakit eh. Okay. Yeah. Do sa part na yun, di ba? So sinabi ka ni Yani na oh ito gawin mo, ito gawin mo, ito mm. gawin mo and ginawa mo. Nagkaroon ako ng guess ang sinabi niya. Tiyagain mo, tiyagain mo, tiyagain mo because doon ka gagaling eh. Pag inulit mo nang inulit mo. Yep. Yun din ba ang ginawa mo? Yes, pretty much it. As in, buong araw lang ako nag E minor. Ang tunog, dalawang daliri lang yun ha. Pero ba, E minor. So, <laughs> dreng, dreng. Kasi yung gamit ko pang gitara, hindi nakatono. So, imagine mo yung parents ko may naririnig na nag E minor buong araw doon na parang dreng, dreng. Parang ano ba yung malungkot na chord na yan na wala sa tono dahil hindi makatono yung gitara. So, naalala ko pa pag nagyang kuya ko, kuya may bago kong chord, E minor. Tapos parang, oh, yung galing ah. Tapos tinono niya yung gitara. Pero natatawa siya sa idea siguro na parang, wow, you're proud of your two-finger chord. Good. Pero, you know, I was a kid. So, I still remember that. And, so, your, your mom, your dad, did they stop you from music? Did they encourage you? Or were they agnostic about it? Um, at first, then you know what? Yung dad ko parang ayaw niya at first. Pero yung mom ko naman, binilan yung kuya ko ng gitara sa States. Kasi flight attendant yung mom ko. So, yeah. may access siya to these things eh. So, binili niya ng gitara yung kuya ko. Parang it was a Carvin guitar. Kaya, I remember his first guitar. <laughs> yes, tapos, um, eventually, parang, she just started buying instruments. Tapos, eh, ako naman yung dad ko when we started playing shows na, parang naaliw na siya. Eh. Parang biglang proud na siya. Eh. Kasi, nung sig- siguro, hindi niya alam na it would amount to anything. Right. Tapos, biglang, I guess, nakita niya na yung, yung dami ng tao. Parang, okay, this, 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 is, this is looking like a bigger endeavor than what I originally thought. Parang ganun. So, Tsaka alam din naman niya dahil nagpupunta rin siya ng mga mall shows ni Donna before. Kasi si Donna Cruz Donna is my Donna cousin. Donna Cruz, yeah. yeah. My first cousin. She's my yeah. first cousin. So, we were very supportive. Like, nagpunta kami sa mga mall shows niya. Sumasama kami. Tapos, na-experience ko yung nasa tent kami. Tapos, sinishake ng mga tao yung buong tent sa Farmers Plaza. Yung ginaganan yung... Pero yun natin, maganda nga sa inyong magkapatid. You, kumbaga, nakadikit kayo sa royalty. Because Donna was at the top of her career nung time yeah, yan. Yeah. Pero hindi nyo ginamit eh. Alam mo yun? Yeah. Hindi. Parang ibang mundo rin naman kasi talaga yata. Eh. Or, ibang mundo. Or, or pero may parang, parallel kasi yan eh. Which yes. we didn't really... Hindi nyo, hindi yeah. nyo ginamit nga. You could yeah. have pulled that card na... Yeah. Oh, ano ako, pinsan ako ni Donna Cruz. Like, you could have done that. Yeah. Pero hindi. Like, ang mga tao nang gugulat nga na mag, magpinsan kayo. Yeah, yeah. But siguro, it was also because alam ko rin na pag bands, iba yung marketing direction yan eh. Yes. Which we, did, we didn't call it marketing direction back then. But yeah. alam lang namin na Parang you're suppo- it's supposed to be word of mouth. Yes. It's supposed to be legit that way. You know, parang... So that's what we did. Parang we would print flyers. As in, literal, nasa class ako, nagde-design ako ng poster. And then, hindi pa design kasi hindi pa laptop yun eh. Kinakat ko yung... Up, kasi di- print out eh. Dinidikit mo? Hindi, bawal didikit eh. So kailangan mo lang ipasa oh, wow. sa, 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 sa class. Tapos nangyayari, parang paggagabi na, tapos may show kami, people would be there. Tapos mga iba, mga, yung nakakuha talaga ng flyer, tapos naghatak ng mga friends, tapos parang, yeah. So okay, simulan natin doon. No? Because, ang tao, ang daming excuses. And, yes. And I'm very fortunate to have you because isa sa mga magagaling na marketing machines pagdating sa pag ma-market sa sarili is Sponge Cola. Pinag-aralo ko yan, nakita ko ang Facebook um, following, following sa Facebook. Yeah. The influence that you have, the way you take care of your fans. And, and that's to be commendable. However, 
na, eto, eto, nagkasisimula pa lang ng podcast, nakikita ko na based on how you're, you're talking, you were very proactive. Yes. Hindi mo inasa sa, sa ibang tao na sana makuha namin si ganito para sumikat kami. Ikaw na nga nagsasabi, it wasn't called marketing direction at that time. Yeah. Siguro sa intuition. Have you always had that knack? Ang alam ko lang, I've always, ever since, ENFP personality type ko eh. So extrovert talaga ako. Para so tayo, by the way, so ENFP. ENFP. Uh-huh. Uh, so, uh, the ko director. Oh uh, yeah, 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 again. Uh, at saka yung nagka-campaign ka tapos you believe uh-huh. in certain things. Tapos may tendency ka ma-let down yep. kapag ka umaasa ka sa mga tao na kaya nila yan tapos hindi pala, <laughs> 'di ba? Yun yung parang disappointment eh. Oo. Uh, supposedly ta- ka- ka- pareho tayo ni Professor X. Kasi 'di ba si Professor X kahit ilang beses siya lokohin ni Magneto? Yep. Parang, parang hindi, okay tayo. Sasalbahin pa rin niya yun. Oo, oh. kasi may ganun, kasi ganun ako. Yeah. So ako si Professor X, lagi ako nagpapabola kay Magneto. So, ganun. Um, pero idealistic naman. And, and it, it, it's who I am eh. So, ganun din ako with like how I deal with people. Like I really genuinely care about yes. everyone. I appreciate, I empathize eh. Mm. So kunyari, parang alam ko na when we have a show and there's a lot of people in there, yung mga nasa harap, dumating yan ng mga 4 p.m. Kasi para mo makuha yung pwesto na yan. Ramdam mo yun eh, di ba? Alam mo eh. Kasi hindi naman sila makakatayo dyan ng ganyang kaganda yung pwesto. Ang galing That's naman true. nila sumingit. Kung nakatayo yan dyan, ang dumating yan, hindi pa kumakain yan. So tinatanong ko minsan yun, parang kumain na ba kayo? Kasi minsan, pag ganyan, guitar solo ni Armo, gitarista namin, tataas ko yung mic, kasi pwede ko naman sila kausapin talaga, parang, oye, kanina pa kayo nandito, no? Gusto yung tubig kasi pwede ko yung kuha ng tubig. Kasi gets ko eh. Para yeah. Kasama yung lahat eh. Ang galing ng word oh. Gets ko. Yeah, yeah, yun yeah. yun eh. Yeah, yeah. Para sa kanila malaking bagay yun eh. Yes. Tsaka ano rin eh. Kasi tapos hindi siya parang extra effort from my, from my end. Kasi, That's true. Kasi by default, makwento ko na tao. Interesado ako sa kwento ng lahat. Mahilig ako sa mga narratives. I like yeah. reading books. I also yeah. like watching movies, watching plays. So... Parang none of this is like extra effort. I'm just being me every single step of the way. Correct. So, nagkataon lang. Buti naging masipag ako. Kasi hindi naman given sa ENFP yung masipag ka eh. Parang yun yung choice. <laughs> yun yung choice mo na yun. Parang, gusto, so, diba? so, yun. Pero yun. It, I'm super lucky na ENFP ako. Tapos yung mga personality types ng bandmates ko, nagko-complement talaga lahat. As in, Alam mo yung personality types lahat, nila? Nag-take kami ng tests lahat eh. Nag-Myers-Briggs talaga. Yeah. Kaya. Tapos mayroon pang isa, I forgot the name of the other test, pero may isa pa na mas accurate pa dun sa test na, na nung, nung Myers na test, na malalaman mo. Tapos ako, I'm a three ty- three wing four personality. So pati yung mga flaws nun nandun. Like, I have a tendency to overwork out. I have a tendency wow. to not rest, to lose my voice. Kasi I'm always oh, all in. Ah, tsaka, yeah, oh, yeah, ganyan. Tsaka del talking. <laughs> Kasama. Jay, anong personality mo? Kita mo, wala siyang pakilam. Nag-test na po siya. <laughs> 16personalities.com yung website if you want to take the test. It's free and it's about 10 to 12 yes. minutes long. Yes. And you really get to know yourself if you take it. Kasi makikita mo pati yung weaknesses andun eh. Mga pitfalls of your... Kailangan alam mo kung anong strengths mo. Siya pinasara niya yung website nung ano eh. Nung nakita niya yung result. Ayaw niya. Hindi Ayaw niya. Artisan. Artisan ka. Ano yun? Anong, anong apat na acronym? Ay yung una. Andyan. Andyan pa rin yun. Oh, that, that, maganda yun, alam mo. Tsaka magandang alam oh. mo yung mga teammates mo kung ano sila. Oh, the artisan. Tapos tignan mo kung ano ang iba pa tawag sa the artisan Meron. para makita mo. Yung gita- Maarte kasi siya. Ah, that's why. The artisan. Artisan? <laughs> sa, sa, son siya na, ng tatay niya. So, maarte siya. Artisan. artisan. So, anyway. Okay. So, yung sinasaya mo sa sipag. Kasi, iba yung sipag eh. Di ba yeah. tayo? Di ba? Yung personality traits natin. Marami tayong ideas. Yes problema lang yung pagpapatupad ng idea na yun. It takes effort eh. Yeah. Ano nag-motivate sa'yo? Mm. And nung time, na, nung time na nagsisimula ka, sino mga sikat nung, na, na banda nung mga panahon na yun? Nagsistart kami. Ano? Uh, parokya was at the top. Yeah. Well, mm. yung start kasi ng songwriting. Yan, parokya ni Edgar, uh, Eraserheads, mm. uh, Teeth, uh, River Maya. Yeah. So yun, yun, yun Pero yun, yun. Nung, nag-band, nung nag-banda ka na nung let's nung mga kasabay namin tumugtog. Uh, hindi, hindi yung mga kasabay yung tumugtog. Yung, yung ito, gumaga. Ito yung mga kasabay yeah. niyo. Ito yung mga nasa itaas eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Di ba? Sino yung mga nasa itaas ng time na yun? I think parokya ni Edgar. Parokya ni Edgar. Parang sila rin yata yung NU ano na, yeah. artist of the year that year. Um, Sino mga kasabay ang, kasab- ang kasabay kasi talaga namin, uh, Bamboo, mm. Kichi Nadal, Mayonnaise, Hail, Q-Shea. Okay, parang yun yung batch. Pero yung Hail and Q-Shea, parang mas, mas nauna kami ng konti. So parang, tapos yung Bamboo, si Bamboo, hindi, Ang Bamboo. Ang Bamboo. Uh, kasabay namin, yung isa sa mga first gigs ni Bamboo back was for uh, a certain brand that is 
uh, kind of spray that's that's that starts with an A and is a weapon used in Axe. Okay, I don't know what you're saying. Okay. 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 <laughs> kasi baka 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 kasi mag-sponsor sila. Anyway, just saying. <laughs> De, pero <laughs> hindi ko sinabi. Oh, so act. Okay, okay. So, yung it was an event for that brand. Tapos um yun parang first gig, one of the first few gigs niya back. Parang I think they did pa a cover of a Matchbox 20 song. Really? Yeah, I think okay. they did Bent. Um tapos they did uh, Awit ng Kabataan. Mm-hmm. Tapos hindi ko I, I'm not sure kung tinugdog na lang Noy Pi doon, pero hindi pa yata. Pero yun, uh, uh, doon ko nalaman na Bamboo was back. Tapos Kitchen Nadal at the time, kasabay namin yung song na wag na wag mong sasabihin. So which was big, di ba? Huge song. Oh my Tapos God. Para, I think that so album 2004 like, to, yeah, no? Yeah, yung album niya na yun, parang five times platinum yata yeah. or something. Tapos, tas, ano yun? Distribution yun, indie yun. So ibig sabihin sa kanya lahat ng bulko nung kita nun? Lahat yun sa kanya. Sa parang, 12 Stones, kay Tommy. Uh, para, na, oh. para nagbayad lang sila siguro ng truck dun sa record yeah. label na nagdala nung yeah. shipment na. Yeah. Yun na yun. So yeah, that's, that was a sweet deal. So, Ayun, um, yun yung mga kasabay namin noong time na yun. Tapos, okay, Q. Shea, Hale. Yeah. At sya, Orange and Lemons nauna sa inyo. Orange and Lemons, I think they were doing the indie scene din eh. So parang baka kasabay rin halos eh. Okay, so noong time, noong time nyo, doon pumasok ang distribution deals sa yeah. Pilipinas eh, yeah. di ba? Yeah. Were you okay with that, yeah. distribution? Perfect for us. Kasi we, all, we already had the marketing machinery ng, ng word of mouth from kids. Kasi yun yung yun, yun, ang advantage kasi namin was we were in school when we were this was all happening. So if some people had to make an ek, para extra effort to to talk to kids, kami we were the kids. So kami yun eh, kasi second year ano ako noon, college school, ako, college, uh, yeah. college uh, fourth year high school kami nag-start mag-gig eh. So by second year college, parang yung song namin umiikot na sa kasaa. Mm, yung kasaa oh yung sa mga pinakamalakas eh. Yeah. Yung talaga parang piracy really helped us. Yeah. Kasi mas naging ano pa eh, word of mouth secret kasi ganun mas maganda mag parang I, I actually had a class like na sa lit about that yung parang what makes talk about it yeah, yeah parang it's a it's a class about um eh, nakalimutan ko bakit <laughs> ko nakalimutan and it's a what makes uh there's a sorry nawawala yung term sa usap sa isip ko eh it's um uh, what makes a cult cult parang usually ang cult piece medyo flawed Kunyari, in a movie, a cult movie, yeah. usually budget movie yan. Right. Tapos, hindi na promote masyado. Pero dahil yung nature niya na maganda siya in its imperfections, tapos yung push niya, hindi ganun kataas, nagiging parang, mm-hmm. have you heard of this band? Parang, they're not, not, wala sila sa radio, pero na-download ko sila through my friend from Miriam. Parang ganun nangyayari. So, it's naging, word of mouth. Oo, na parang kaming secret ng mga tao na may banda ang pangalan Sponge Cola. Tapos yun. Tapos, syempre, Eventually, lumabas na, we, we, nag-distribution kami with Sony. Sony Music, yeah. Um, okay, so nag-distribution kayo with Sony. Kaninong idea yun? Kin- sneak out kami ni Wally Chamsay. Parang, this is it. This is the band I'm looking for. This is the college kid. The college band. Yung parang na, na, na currently in school. Na, so kayo uh, yung REM ng generation nyo. Parang, parang gano'n. Sig- Hindi ko alam. Okay, hindi, hindi ko, hindi ako. Hindi, 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 alam ko yung R.E.M. Generation gap. Hindi, alam ko yung, alam ko yung R.E.M. Alam ko yung mga songs nila. Pero college bands. Tapos alam ko na yung chords nila. F.A. minor G sa Losing My Religion. <laughs> oh, diba? Pero, ibig ko lang sabihin, parang, hindi ko alam kung uh, paano sila perceived eh. Ganon. Pero hindi naman kasi kami college rock sounding. College okay, okay. rock brand, branding lang. Kasi may, may distortion kami na medyo makapal eh. So, pero perceived kami as a college band kasi the term became, if you're in college and you're in a band, it's a college band. Oh, nga. So, ganun. Parang hindi naman kami in any way, like, although I love Gin Blossoms and I've seen them play live like three times na yata, um, hindi kami naman magkatunog masyado. So, ganun. Pa- pero, ayun, parang college, you know, college band. Okay, so, nag-distribution kayo. Si yeah. Wally ang yeah. nag-facilitate nun. Yeah. Sino nag-produce ng unang album nyo? Siya rin. Well, produce kami. Uh, kami naglabas ng money for it. Okay. Like, lalo ko pa yung budget was 17,000 pesos for the whole album. So, sino ang kumita ron kayo rin? Yeah, parang nakadivide yun sa manager and bandmates kasi wala namang kamaming label na kailangan. Talk to people about that because, like, panahon namin, kailangan magkaroon ka ng label para maging legit. Okay? Mm-hmm. Noong panahon namin, which is uh, late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. Right? Panahon nyo, it's more, um, let's come up with a song, bring the songs out. Yeah. And yung album is just a tool. It's not 
the certificate of proof na yeah. legitimate ka. Uh-uh. Diba? And nowadays, may mga tao dito sa states and sa ibang lupalop ng mundo who, who still want, I'm not saying it's bad, but they think ang holy grail ng pagiging artist is still the record label. This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates, ang realtor na pato. I think at this point, yung legitimacy of having a record label is really more of an industry person thing. Yung parang kunyari, you're a, you're a writer for a magazine. Tapos may, mag-contact sa'yo na, can you write an article about this? Tapos, parang, ano yan, artist ng, let's say, um, uh, uh, tissue paper records. Sorry, kimbento lang ako ng Sige. fictional. Tapos yun yung katabi ko dito. Pwede na tayo um, yung tissue pa- uh, uh, paper records. Uh, um, <laughs> so, parang, I think it's more of, a, ah, okay, sige, sisiput ako kasi label yan eh. Pero it might be an industry person thing. Kasi right now rin, I think the writers can also just check the numbers of their article. Tapos pag kahit, hindi, kahit tingin mo, hindi nila kilala yung yep. artist. Eh, pag yung article mo naman, ang taas ng traction. Parang, ah, okay, now I know who to get. I mean, parang it's just, I don't think the legitimacy, it's it's not an issue. It's more of just having actual people push push you yep. while you're asleep. You know what I mean? Like while you're sitting pretty at home, at least may record label there trying to find ways to book you or to... Uh, basically get their money's worth for paying for oh, stuff. Oh, investing right? in you. Eh, yeah, diba? Diba? basically, yeah. So, yun yung record label way. Yung indie way, it's the opposite, diba? Uh, oh, pero yung indie way, parang ano yun, to each his own pa rin talaga. Kasi some artists are not naman parang good at being business people. And it's just, it's not so wrong. The same way na, alam mo ito nakakatawa. Siya, medyo off topic ng slide, pero Sige. parang parallel situation eh. Marami, lagi ka nakakarinig ng ayoko yung artist na yan kasi suplado kailangan mo lang intindihin din na ang artists by default usually introverts yan. Yeah. Konti ang mga tulad ko na extrovert yeah. artist na syempre ako, norm, ako nga, nasasabihan pa rin ako ng suplado kahit sobrang chika ko na at mahay hello yeah. ako eh. <laughs> Pero alam mo yun, parang it's just most artists are introverts and a lot of them, mas yung, ang developed side ng brain nila yung creative side. So yeah. hindi lahat kayang maging manager mag-isip or hindi lahat not normal sa kanilang mag-isip ng mga how to sell uh, diba? your, your brand yeah. or that you're even the brand that awareness is naka-off kasi it's it's just not how they're trained hindi sila wired na gano'n oh, oh, iba lang iba-iba lang parang iba-iba lang strengths natin lahat so okay lang yun so yun nga parang I think it's really like it really depends on the artist tapos it also depends on what y- the goals are pero yung legitimacy kasi at this point parang hindi ko na alam kung factor pa ba yun? Or baka tayo-tayo lang yung nakaka- Exactly, yung right? na lang dun eh. Uh-huh. Kasi ngayon nowadays, diba, yung, yung batch naman na bago, puro, puro mga Spotify naman sila. Yeah, yeah. Puro streams, di ba? Yeah. Talagang milyones ang streams nila, yes. pati followers nila. Yep. Nung dumating ang Spotify sa Pilipinas, kasi dati Apple Music lang yan eh, di ba? And all that. Isa kayo sa mga unang tumalon sa, sa streaming? Uh, actually, naging problem namin yun. Kasi yung secret na record label namin na hindi namin mention yung, dat, yung dati namin record label uh, ex- may exclusive deal sila with a different ano eh, service provider okay so wala kami sa Spotify uh, naka, nasa, dumating lang kami sa Spotify 2017 January 1 pinagpilitan nyo pa yun oo parang I was like every meeting pag nagtatulong sila parang parang may problem tayo with numbers tapos parang sinasabi ko wala tayo sa Spotify at nandun yung mga tao. Kahit ako nasa Spotify, doon ako nakikinig eh. Yeah. So, we need to be there. So, hanggang we're not there, that's gonna be a problem. Because some people, may mga tao kala nag-hiatus kami ng three years. Grabe. Kasi no? 2014 to 20, I think Spotify arrived 2014 yeah. sa Philippines. Wala kami doon for the first three years. So, parang may mga tao na kunyari, nag kami sa Singapore, may lumapit, oy, buti bumalik kayo ha. Salamat. Tapos ako parang bumalik. Ang dami namin gig eh. Parang we play five times a week, man. I mean, anong, para, pero, Basta paano lang masisi eh. Spotify, ang Singapore Spotify. So, sobra silang, magbakita may mga tao sa train, naka-Spotify yun. Puro Spotify. Oh, so, ano yun, parang, uh, kahit sa numbers namin sa Spotify, kasi kita may insights eh, where people are listening, Singapore is like, for, sa numbers namin, higher pa than like, Pasig. What? Mataas yung Singapore namin, kasi yung mga tao sa train network. Tsaka, napansin ko kasi, ito, again, another jump in my brain of, go, of go, topics. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. Um, yung wife ko na-point out din ito eh na yung marami kaming yung fan base namin generally ang personality type nila achievers so yung mga masipag magtrabaho kasi kami yung banda na kumanta ng huwag kang bibitiw bigla eh and I'm a basketball fan and if you watch me play basketball I want to win every time so are you one, are you one of the people who love to win or hate to lose? Uh, 
ako sa akin na, I love to win. I hate to lose the wrong way. Pero I can okay. accept that para okay lang sa akin matalo basta tama. Okay. Kunyari, nag-defense tayo, natalo tayo, okay lang. Hinaras natin lahat ng mga tira nila, okay lang. Pero kung nag-iiwan tayo ng mga libreng shot, tapos talo tayo, medyo piko na ako nun. Okay. Na parang, alam mo ba tayo natalo, di ba? Kasi hindi natin, wala tayong paki enough eh. Kasi yun eh, defense is all about caring. About your team, about the game. I'm getting, nag-intensify na ako. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Spurs fan. So hindi rin showbiz basketball yung gusto ko. Gusto ko okay. si Greg Popovich. Ganun ako mag-isip. Ganun ako mag- Even sa pag-handle ng band, ang ini-emulate ko sa pagiging leader ay si Tim Duncan. Yung para how to lead. Lead example, uh, initiative, um, take care of everyone, yeah, create a positive work environment. Mm, kaya mo yun yeah, eh, kasi yeah. empath ka eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm always like, that, that's, all, that's, all, that's all I do. Right. Yun yun eh. Kaya hindi kami nag-aaway. Tapos 20 years na kami, we're still together. Wala nagkaka- yung mga aaway namin, hindi aaway. Mga Argument, discourse. Argu- oh, oh, oh. And we talk about things. Tapos yeah. nakakatawa, like recently, nagkaroon kami ng siguro intensified discourse. Ah. Tapos ang ending nun, parang after nung pinakahuling statement, parang 10 seconds in, yung, yung ka-argue ko, <laughs> nag-fist bump lang sa akin, sabi, uy, pero same team. Kasi, <laughs> kasi gets mo, parang alam ko tumaas yun, pero same team tayo, same team, every time. And because I genuinely really care about my bandmates, yeah. they are my favorite yeah. people. Hindi, asawa ko rin, favorite ko. Pero my bandmates are like my favorite people. It's like being in a sitcom. Na, tapos yung sitcom namin, kayang maging light. Galing, no? Pero kayang maging academic. Yes. So pwede kami mag-usap about anything. Tapos parang it's all, they're all welcome thoughts. Ang Nag-check out na ako pag may nag-uusap about crypto. Kasi parang, ay, parang, parang ayoko alamin, so ayoko pasukin. So parang kapag nag, sila nag-uusap about shit. crypto, parang, ah, okay, time to check my phone. <laughs> check messages. May nag-text ba? Okay, wala. Okay, good. Pero okay, fine. so going back. Go, diba? go, sorry, sorry. Then, no, you gotta no, reel no. that in. I, I just, I'm all de. over the place. So, ito na nga, di ba? Um, wala kayo sa Spotify. Mm-hmm. Ang, mga, ang mga fans nyo, puro achievers. Yes. Right? Nagsulat ka ng kanta. Ang tanong is, tinarget mo ba yun? Because tanda mo, y- ikaw, marketing is your middle name. Eh. Yeah, parang, yeah, yeah, parang, yeah, yeah. Minsan nga, hindi mo na nga iniisip na, na, Nakikita natin kasi, nakikita natin yung yung gap, nakikita mm. natin yung opportunity. Uh-uh. And and sa atin, hindi we we don't take we're not the type to take advantage of it. We just know that there's a lack. Mm. That there's a need. Yeah. And that we could fill in that. Yeah, gap. yeah, and that could be us. Parang ganyan. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, exactly, exactly. Do position mo ang sponge cola. And the reason ito mga tanong na to is to help everybody who wants to start a band. You yeah. know, give them insights yeah, because yeah. you and I Ang galing yun. Again, I go back to nung umalis ako ng 2001. You guys were probably starting or kung nasa... Ano pa lang nun? Giging pa lang. Right? Pero, Hindi pa like, putok. Oh, parang may mga, you know, like 20 people in a bar gig tapos biglang yes. may new person. Ang galing yes. nung ginagawa niyo. Pero umabot kayo ng critical mass. Yeah, yeah. Was it your idea? Was it by chance? Or was it a combination of both? Um, well, ano eh. Uh... I don't know where to start exactly, pero... This is your episode, kahit saan. Yeah, yeah, pero parang, hmm. Um, well, yung about yung targeting. Yeah. Hin- well, yung targeting kasi, hindi ako parang, I have to like the song eh. So, basically, I just have to be me. So, yung bitiw, hindi ko naman siya plinano na gusto ko to maging kanta ng mga achievers. Ako, gusto ko, ito yung maririnig ko kapag ka, paglalaban ako. Kaya rin jump ball. Yeah. Kaya yung sound nung riff na genet, genet, jump ball yun eh. Genet, 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 genet. Kasi yun yung, yun yung gusto ko na energy ng jump ball. Tapos yung ganun na beat. Kasi sa akin, ito talaga yung beat na parang okay game na. Parang, you're, parang you're gonna feel, you're, you're gonna get an elbow and you're gonna feel it. And you're not gonna cry. Because I'm, I'm gonna try to win. So, man, I don't know why I'm getting intense again. No, no, no. Kasi pang, <laughs> pang hype mo yun eh. Yeah, yeah. Pero ganun. So, parang, uh, yung, yun, yung, we just, you know, para, tapos I'm, I'm also a romantic guy. So I like love songs. Right. By default. Like, I watch Titanic 17 times sa Sinihan. Umiyak ka. Oo, every time. <laughs> pinapanood, ko na, pinapanood ko nga yung Titanic six months. Kasi sa, sa Pilipinas, yung Titanic six months na, nasa, nasa SM pa rin. Napanood mo yung Dollhouse? Hindi pa. Oh my God. Grabe daw. Nakakayak daw, no? Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna watch it very soon. Pero, you know, I'm a romantic guy. I like, yep. you know, I like, nanood ako ng A Walk to Remember with six dudes. Yun, iniyak ako yun. Ren, ako, ako rin. Tapos, right after, we went home and I recorded, I finished my demo for the song Saturn. Kasi biglang, nung, while, while watching it, may scene na nag-telescope nag, siya tapos yeah. nakita niya yung Saturn. And at that point, meron akong song na I've seen Saturn through a telescope. Parang yun yung first line ng chorus. So, okay, time to, it's a sign. 
I have to finish a song. Like Jamie. So you win. exactly yung guys, yung part na yun, di ba? Like mm. ikaw action man ke. Yeah. Hindi mo tina target ang certain demographic. Yeah. But then again, intuitive ka and uh-huh. in tune ka with with your environment. Eh. Yeah. Chaka alam mo rin na parang kung ikaw mal malul uh, ma- you kung nafi feeling catharsis listening to this, malamang the other person will also probably feel it. You know. It's, so meron kang ganon. Uh, oh, parang kasi kung nagwo work for you, it's gonna work for someone like you or at least. It it can it's it's it has a shot. So do you write for yourself or do your bandmates write for you? Parang ano eh, we write. I I think I write for myself, and then I just become super proud. De ba? <laughs> I write the song. Tapos pag okay, magugusto nila yan. Parang ganon na. Parang uh, tapos I think yeah, my bandmates are also like like our bassist kasi is uh sheng isang ano eh. D- dalawa kami main songwriter. Pero we all write songs. Pero parang kami yung pinaka Kung baga sa Phil's Cup, mahaba-haba yeah. yung... Yung yung uh, catalog niya. Uh, uh, ang tawag, ang tawag ni, Ar- ni Armo or guitarist sa ganong situation, you're a two-pager. <laughs> yung kapag, kapag yung, yung two pages uh-huh. na yung list of songs mo, ganun. So, kami nagsusulat eh. Tapos parang siya rin eh. Our, our bassist is an introvert naman. Tapos a very rare independent personality type. Tapos he writes music na yung mga chords sobrang crazy. Yung parang... Hindi ko, hindi ko, mah- mahirapan ako kapain. Hindi yeah. siya GDC. I mean, hindi siya basic. Wala, walang, nothing basic. But nothing wrong with basic too. No. Kasi, you know, like the best shots are, of course, are, are open layups, you know, yep. and, and open three-pointers, diba? Sure hit yun. Oo, eh. hindi na kailangan lahat ng tira step back eh. Yes. Diba? Shout out sa mga naglalaro na lahat ng tira step back. <laughs> hindi, wala ka na bantay, maatras ka pa. Okay, sorry. Hindi kasi, nangyayari yun eh. Parang grabe to, gusto talaga niya yung tira na yun, pang buwelo na, naging buwelo, naging mannerism na lang eh. Parang not practical but okay. <laughs> if it floats your boat, then but anyway, ayun, parang so yun, sorry, na, nawala ako din. Hindi, hindi. Okay. <laughs> so, so kayo na so si Archie, okay, si Armo ang gitarista. Yeah, tapos si Ted yung drummer and si Gosh yung bassist. So si Gosh kayo dalawa. Uh, Nagte-teamwork palagi kayo dalawa. Madalas either magse-send kami ng complete song na or mag magte-teamwork kami. Pero nagte-teamwork din kami ni Armo at ni Ted. So Kasi Spurs fan ako eh. So lahat nakakahawak ng bola. So pag lumabas, okay, good. Pag lumabas ng teamwork, mm-hmm. so mga galing sa inyo dalawa ni Ted, mm-hmm. pag binato kay, ah, kay Gash, mm-hmm. kay dalawa ni Gash, pag binato kay Armo at kay Ted, do they get to make timpla? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. utusan mo na lang sila kung ano gagawin? Usually, siguro may, may, siguro may ibang songs na may idea na ako for the drums. Kasi si Ted din, ano rin siya, middle child. Tapos, okay. pareho, kami magkasama okay. mag-travel all the time. So kami yung parang kapag nasa kotse kami, nag-drive kami dito, parang sa magsuko man, ikaw, ikaw, ikaw. Puro ikaw. ba kami dito? Oo, oh, kasi parang lahat kami parang, parang pleasers kami ng mga tao eh. So nakakatawa kami pagka, pagka, ang ending yan, parang pupunta kami sa isang area na parang pareho kaming average lang about, pero walang gusto magsalita. But anyway, um, so yun, lahat, uh, normally, may mga, normally sila bahala maglagay ng stuff nila. Pero may mga times na pag sa drum, sasabihin ni Ted, ano gusto mo? Tapos iniisip ko parang, so there's like this one particular song na sobrang nahihirapan kami magkaroon ng title. Kasi may mga songs na ganun, parang yung title yeah. yung mahirap. So ang, the title of the song is um, Kung May Oras Ka. Tapos, it's uh, yung drums doon. Parang sabi ko kay Ted, parang kailangan yung drums dito. Parang walang, yung, parang yung intensity, start to finish, pareho lahat sagad. Nakatoodo lang. Kasi two minutes lang yung kanta. Tapos parang, may, meron siyang, I'll let you hear it later. Pero, pero hindi ko pa pwede parinig dito eh. Pero, Parang ano eh, parang two oh, so part song. To, as of this tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's an unreleased song and it's one of my favorite songs and it's about working hard. Kaya gusto ko, intense lang siya. Kasi yung concept ng lyrics, parang, um, habang tulog kayo, ako dire-diretso lang. Parang, I'm just working non-stop. I'm a machine. Tapos parang, wala pa akong alam. Kasi, pero araw-araw, nadadagdagan yung alam. Parang yun yung lyrics niya. Galing, oh. so, important sa akin yun eh. Yung idea na you have to surrender then. Yung idea na despite all your achievements or whatever it is na nagawa mo na, hindi ka patapos matuto. So you have to constantly learn. So yun din yung song. Para I'm always working, always learning. Okay. So doon sa sinabi mong yan, di ba? Always working, always learning. I-rewind ko ulit from, from the beginning of Sponge Cola. And that's how you are eh. Kaya from 20 people, like germinate to 40, to 80, yeah. to 160, naging ganun eh, di ba? Yeah. Nung nakita ng dad mo na mukhang hindi na magde-day job tong anak ko. <laughs> did you guys have a talk? Hindi, hindi, hindi na. Parang, he, I think he just kind of knew. Accountant siya eh. Baka alam niya yung numbers. Nung sinabi ko kasi palang nung second year na hindi na niya kailangan magbayad ng tuition. 
parang okay na yun eh. Kasi uh, uh, graduate ka ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero ang sarap din ng feeling mag-aral na ikaw ay nagbabayad ng sarili mong tuition. Kasi, how, how, what was that conversation like? Uh, ako nabahala sa school. Ha? <laughs> parang ganun, medyo in passing eh. Tapos parang, uh, tapos at least that's one person you don't have to think about na. I mean, like, mahal, Wala, mahal walang, na, walang pushback yun. Ha? Wala, wala. At saka mahal, mahal yung tuition sa atin eh. Yeah. So, pero buti na lang wala akong lab fee. Kasi hindi naman science yung course ko eh. So mas mura ako ng, mas mura ako ng konti. Kasi lit major ako eh. So libro right. lang yun eh. So... Ano yan? Pero, kasi pag may lab, mas mahal eh. Of course. Tsaka may computer, ganyan. Wala, wala akong ganun. So, tinapos mo. Yeah. I mean, Ateneo. May usapan kami ng kuya ko about that. Okay, I want to hear that conversation. It's a very simple conversation. Na if you fail in school, I will kick your ass. Bakit? Bakit, bakit sinabi ni Annie yun? Kasi, hindi po, parang hindi lang pwedeng, unang-una, that's him being kuya. And I'm a Spurs fan, so I like it when he talks to me like that. Okay. Kasi parang ako parang, yeah, bring it. Hindi, hindi dal upaan ko siya pabalik pag mangyari yun. Hindi ganun. It's more of, gusto ko yung feeling na tinithreaten ako ng physical harm oh. to do something that's good for me. I like that feeling. I like, I'm motivated really well. Eh. Alam mo yung kapag yung teammate mo, inangasan ka na parang, you're not playing good defense. Ah, talaga? Kaya, ah, okay. Sige, I'm show you. I'm show you good defense. Is it, is it true sa mga katulad natin, pag may ginusto ka, ba sinabi sa akin, Paco, hmm. gagawin ko to ganyan, ganyan. At sinabi ko, oh, sige, gawin mo, gawin mo. Nag-work na naman yun. Pero, Pero hindi eh, kasi intense nang... Uh, hindi mo kaya yan. Oh, right? <laughs> But yeah, it's a personality thing. So, yeah. Pag, lalo oh. na, kaya nga diba sabi ko nga sa'yo, pagka, uh, hindi alam mga, ta- mga tao to eh, na parang right before, I, kasi I run everyday 5K. Right. So right before I run, minsan titingin ako ng mga tao na ayaw ko. <laughs> Tapos pag uminit na yung ulo ko, sa mga sinasabi nila, ah, okay, sige, good. Tapos tatakbo na ako. Tapos mapapansin ko yung first kilometer ko, laging sobrang palo. Parang mga... Siguro yung first kilometer ko, mga 4 minutes 55. Yung wow. first. Tapos nun, mag, okay na hindi na ako galit. <laughs> so, magsisimula na mag, mag, mag-normalize to about 5.30. Tapos parang, minsan magpa-picture taking na ako. Parang, oh, ma- maganda yung time ko ngayon. Pwede na mag-picture taking. <laughs> Kuna ko muna ng picture yung bar ko na lagi ko kinukuna ng picture sa may Manila Bay. Doon ako tumatakbo eh. Well, so, sa Manila Bay? So, ibig sabihin sa Manila ka natira? Ano, malayo. Pero kasi doon yung area na yung GPS, hindi walang building na gugulo. So, na, matatrack ko yung pace ko, yung, spe- yung everything. So, I run from like, usually from center stage. Wow. All, until Soler. Tapos pabalik. That's about 5 kilometers. Wow. Tapos if I need to do 11K or 10K, US Embassy, tapos balik. Yun na yun. Uh, tapos dahil... Parang shoutout din sa mga taga-US kasi parang ako nakikitakbo sa... Ga- pa- I know, right? Diba? Parang pag nandun ako sa US Embassy, parang, oh, Stig, ito ako mukha ng visa. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, US, eh, no? Ang ganda na view nyo, ah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, ito na, di ba? Nag, um, laban kong laban. Yeah. You're very proactive. Ayun, sorry, tinuruan pa yun, yung sa school. Yes. Yun, yun, basic, alam ko namang di ako upa ka ng kuya ko kung bumagsak. Pero, sinabi niya, kailangan mag... mag- Oo, kailangan. kailangan. Kasi parang, ang sinasabi sa akin ng kuya ko before, kailang maganda kasi na nasa school ka kasi meron kang paghuhugutan ng content. Hindi necessarily YouTube. When you say content now, it means YouTube eh. But ibig ko sabihin, parang if you're reading books, chances are you're gonna be writing better songs. Or at least songs na na mas, mas marami lang nangyayari. Kasi if you, parang kapag wala ka nung side na yun, mas konti paghuhugutan mo. Eh, pag, when you're learning more things, you can write a song about may dream collab kami ni Rico Blanco na we're gonna write a song about dahon ng laurel one day. Wow. Tapos parang, kasi di ba, medyo mahirap, mahirap na challenge eh. Di ba, how do you write that song dahon ng laurel? But we'll figure it out. But anyway, yun. Um, the more th- random things you get, the more ideas you have, the more, palaki lang na palaki yung box mo of thoughts. So parang, like, you know, like, you can write a song about, it seems like a love song, but it's really about the Komodo Dragon in Singapore na na-stuck doon, tapos malayo sa family niya sa mi Indonesia. I mean, parang, parang, pwedeng, di ba, pwedeng kanta yun, pero, mas, the more things you know. So, ako talaga, parang, tsaka, ano rin eh, parang ayaw rin niya, nakakahiya rin kasi sa dad ko na, pinag-aral ka, tapos hindi ka gagraduate, dahil may nahanap ka na na trabaho, na gusto mo, na hindi trabaho, dahil sobrang nag enjoy ka. May nahanap mo ni passion mo in life, pero, parang ano lang eh, sana yung fundamentals na sa pool mo. So, but that's me. Uh, pero ang galing, no? Ila, anong, anong age gap niyo? Three? Six. Six, six ba? Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. So, mal- mal- malaki-laki yung gap. So, parang tapos na siya sa college, ako nasa college pa lang ako. So, na- na- nahimay na niya yung, yung, yung tsaka musician din siya, tapos artist din siya, so gets niya yun. Pero yun, it's um, para may laman ka. Tsaka para hindi nakakahiya na, na, na may sinimulan yung parents mo, tapos hindi natapos. And also, para lang alam mo sa sarili mo na kaya mong i-meet lahat ng deadline na sineset mo. Yung 
Kasi parang ang sarap nun eh, yung, ay alam nyo ba, nag-music ako, tsaka nag-school ako at the same time. Pagod ka ba? Medyo. Pero kaya, kasi galing ako eh. Parang, di ba, parang magagaling lang kaya gumawa nun eh. Yeah. Time management yun eh, tsaka juggling act, tsaka nag-aaral kami backstage for mga long test. Meron akong oral test dati na group grade. Tapos dalawa lang yung alam kong thesis statement out of 14. Ang lumabas yung dalawang alam ko. Oh! Tapos yung mga yung isa kong groupmate talaga na pilot na ngayon, nakita ko gumano yung kamay oh. <laughs> Tapos yung sagot ko pa doon, yung dalawang alam ko na thesis statement, yung sagot ko doon pang ulam, yung pwedeng yeah, alam yeah, ko yeah. na pag lumabas to, panalo. Oh. 100 kami doon sa oral test na yun. This episode is brought to you by ABA E-Services. <laughs> Pero ang ganda ng moment na yun, nakita ko talaga, uh, shout out um, Captain Diane Santos, gumano yung kamay niyo. I knew it. At saka ano kasi, lalag, lag, ang, ang trick ko sa orals, lagi ako nagpapasok ng sociocultural element. Right. Kasi it works eh. Kasi it, that's, that's life. Yes. So, ayun. I, I put that in. Oh, I always get an A. So, so ang, ang college basically, ang, ang ginawa ng college sa'yo, talagang sinarpen yung critical thinking mo talaga yeah. eh. No? Yeah. To the point na it was actually kind of easy for me. School was a bit easy. Dahil at a certain point, parang na-master ko na kung paano mag-isip for a paper. Kasi papers, maraming yes. papers eh. Mababa ako sa quizzes eh. Kasi yun yung mga daily stuff eh. Pero 10% lang naman ng grade mo yun eh. Ano mo totoo ka, no? Diba? Pag magaling ka sa paper, madali na yun madali eh. Madali oh, Tapos kung magaling ka sa paper, chances are okay ka rin naman sa orals. Yes. So, except pag di mo alam lahat ng thesis statement, eh, ako nakukuha ko yung dalawa out of 14. Yes. Pero ayun, um, it became at a certain point like essay writing. Like, give me give me all the essays. Like, I'll, I'll do it. Like, I can do this in my sleep. Or at least when I'm awake. I mean, like, 1,500 words. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Alam, dali, dali. Pangit lang handwriting ko. So, kawawa yung teachers. Okay. <laughs> so, ayan, school. Mm -hmm. Ikaw nagpapaaral sa sarili mo. Yes. Did it get to your head na self-sufficient ka? Well, I knew that I was. Pero parang, parang, I thought it was, ano eh, parang at that point, I knew it was a big deal. Pero I don't think na, Kasi alam mo, once you achieve said big deal, it becomes a medium deal. Yes. And then you want more. More. Oo, so parang when it was happening, hindi naman lumaki yung ulo ko masyado. Tingin ko, na, na, na nagagawa ko na to finally. Kasi I had bigger goals na at okay, a certain Okay, before point. we get to bigger goals now. Kailan, Kailan, kasi at this point, you were still in the house, di ba? Mm, yeah. So ito ka, parang kang John Taylor. Si John Taylor, sikat na sa Duran Duran, umuwi pa rin sa bahay ng tatay niya. Mm -mm. Pag nasa, pag nasa Birmingham yeah. sila, you know. So, when did you realize, or when did everybody in the house realize? Ila kayo, lima? Uh, yeah, uh, dalawang kapatid, tapos parents. So, oh, so lima, yeah, di ba, yeah, lima uh, kayo. Uh, when did you realize that it might be time to move out? Medyo late. Para, I think I was mga 28, 29. And, and, and mom and dad, they tell us, they, 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 I mean, hindi, parang, hindi, not, not to pay for stuff, ha? hindi naman at that point. Pero it's more of, para magkasama kami. Kasi yun yata yung difference eh. Gets ko kasi na pag nasa US ka, normally 18, you're out, di ba? Oh, parang si Heaven. Oo, oh, tapos, out. may mga Filipino parents na pag ginagawa naman ng anak nila yun, parang nababa, ah, parang, grabe, iniwan na ako, parang wala lang, di na ako kilala, hindi mo lang bumibisita. Nakatracker nga sa phone, di naman pumupunta dito, lapit-lapit lang. Yeah. So, sorry, din yung exact sinabi ng tito ko kanina. <laughs> Pero, ano, um, nakatracker nga yung anak ko, di naman pumupunta dito. At least, alam ko kung nasan, di naman nagpapakita. Ganyan. Pero, ano eh. Tito Arnold yan? Oo. Uh -oh. <laughs> Kasama ni JJ sa work, di ba? Tito Arnold, ah, Tito Arnold, yeah. Dati. Shout out. Sorry, binukin kita kay Annika, Tito Arnold. Si Annika yung daughter niya. <laughs> My bad. No, but yeah, parang, yeah, siyempre, may mga Filipino parents, traditional, kahit na nasa US ka. Tsaka masaya kasi having kids around, I think. Yes. Pero ako, yun nga, late 28, ako nag-go. Mga ganun, 28, 29. Tapos mga, may mga friends ako na parang ganun din eh. Parang Pero single yung, ka pa nito, right? In, sing, yes, oh. yes, single. Ako, <laughs> kaya ni Kado kayo tumindig. Hindi, hindi naman, hindi naman, hindi naman ganun. <laughs> <laughs> Pero eventually, yeah, I did move out. Pano? Uh, nag, uh, so, ikaw si, uh, ikaw si Yael Yuson, isang uh, miyembro ng sikat na banda. Living with your parents. Living with your parents. In your late 20s. Oh, in your late 20s. It sounds so bad now. <laughs> Damn. Para buti, para anak, fail, para failure to launch ang dating. Oh, ano, para? ano, oh. Parang ano ko, parang weird uncle in the basement. <laughs> parang ganun. <laughs> Pero you know what? Eh, close naman kasi kami ng mom yes. ko at ng dad ko. Yes. Kalaro ko sa basketball yung tatay ko hanggang ngayon. So, pero yeah. ang, ang, ang gusto kong i-paint na picture is yung pride ng tatay mo seeing you from birth 
to a rock star. Diba? Yung pride eh. Can, can, you, put, can you put yourself um, through his lens? Sa tingin mo, ano ang nakikita niya sa iyo noong mga panahon na yun? Well, he proud siya dun sa mga achievements. Oo, oh. Kasi at a certain point, like, ini-invite na niya yung mga kaklase niya nung high school. Kasi atinayo rin siya high school batch 63. So, tama ba? Sana tama. 67. Ay, 60, ayun, 63, 63, 63 siguro. 63. Basta yung year na pala nakalak si Jordan, 63. Eh. Random. Anyway, um, so, nag invite na siya ng mga friends at nagdi-dinner sila habang tumutugtog kami. Tapos, like, pinapanood niya yung mga TV guestings, nagko-comment siya kasi nag-music din siya eh. Marunong siya mag-guitar eh, tsaka mag-piano na tinuruan lang yung sarili niya. Sky. Right. Kumakanta rin siya. So, yun, parang nagbibigay siya ng mga tips. Siya sinasabi na lagi, every gig, uuwi, uuwi ako sabihin niya, ang galing-galing ni Armo. Kasi ang galing mag-gitara ng gitarista namin. At saka gumaling talaga siya over the course ng pagkakilala ko sa kanya. Sa dami ng gigs. Tsaka dahil tumigil ako mag-gitara, naging one guitar kami. So, gumaling siya. Kasi pag one guitar na lang, yeah. kailangan mo gawin lahat ng pwede mo gawin para hindi mapakita yung mga butas yep. eh. So, gumaling siya because of that. And Magkocomment siya sa'yo, hindi rin? Si, ah, sa, um, sa akin, oh, oh, oh parang okay lang. Hindi, hindi masyado. Pero okay lang sa akin. Sa so, totoo lang, mas, mas issue sa akin yung pag... Kasi ang basketball compliments sa akin, once lang a year. Okay. <laughs> so, pag kinomplement niya ako, may isang time talaga naiyak ako habang nag-drive ako sa EDSA. Parang sabi ng papa mo, galing-galing mo daw kanina. So, parang talaga sabi na yun. <laughs> Tapos parang, para alam mo yung parang napatingin ako sa sa, sa gilid ng EDSA. Tapos pag ganun ko, parang alam ko na may luha na ako. So, parang, kung may camera dito, ang ganda ng shot. <laughs> parang, direct, okay na ba yung one take na yun? Oo, oo ganda ng patak eh. Pag ganun mo, bumabang ganun eh. <laughs> Tapos yung ilaw pa yung half, so parang, wow, mysterious. <laughs> Pero naiyak talaga ako pag kinu-compliment ako sa basketball ng tatay ko. Mas yun yung nagbabatter. Kasi yung music parang... Baka, baka nga mayabang ako. Baka iniisip ko na na parang, hindi kasi malamang ako yan. Ako yan eh. So <laughs> parang, parang anyway, I'm, I'm not like... Right. I'm not a five foot four guy playing basketball. So I'm not gonna get a lot of basketball compliments. Correct, so when correct. I get to them from my dad, they really mean a lot. Okay. Basketball compliment yun. Uh, Di sa dad mo. Uh, As a middle child, in general, were you filled with compliment? Um, you know what? As a kid kasi, alam mo, may favorite yata ako pero hindi ako, hindi ako sure. Kasi Pero seldom favorite ang middle. Yeah. Child, eh. Ako kasi yung pinakamadaldal eh. So parang oh. wala kang choice. Kailangan mo kong maging favorite yata kasi ako yung kumakausap sa'yo na unstop. <laughs> so, ayun. Yeah. Pero ang ang reklamo naman ng dad ko sa akin ngayon, si Yael, pag nagdadrive, sumasayaw. Yun yung ginagawa mo ngayon. Oo. Uh, yun doon sinasabi niya sa lahat ng mga friends niya ngayon eh. Na, kasi pag nag-drive kami, mag-road trip kami ni Kay. Madalas kami mag-road trip yeah. eh. Like, galing kami Vegas, punta kami ng LA. Mahilig kami sa mga ganong road trip. Tapos alam ko, may playlist na kami for it. Maraming The Course, maraming Backstreet Boys. Right. Tsaka maraming, kasi yun yung mga parang common things na type namin ni Kay na music eh. Tsaka maraming Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran, ganyan. Hayop. No? Tapos, uh, Katy Perry. Ganyan. But anyway, so, sumasayaw talaga ako. Kasi parang, Minsan dance song yun eh. Parang ano pa ba gagawin mo? Ba't di ka nalang sumayaw? Correct. Pero nagagalit dad ko kasi parang... Your eyes on the road, di ba? Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh. Pero nakatingin naman ako sa road eh. Sumasayaw lang ako. So, <laughs> eh, wala, wala namang magbabago dyan eh. Andyan pa rin yung intersection, no? <laughs> di ba? Hindi ko naman babanggayin yung kotse sa harap ko. Makitang-kita ko nga siya. Pwede ko nga siya ganun na paatras eh, di ba? So, ayan. So, ano kami? Parang, I don't know why it's such a... Is it illegal? Meron bang law wala, that wala, says wala. Uh, a person should not dance while driving. Wala! Diba? Maybe you can't hold your phone because that's illegal. Yes. Because you're distracted. Pero you can dance. So, hanggang magkaroon ng bagong batas na you can't dance. You will dance. Yeah, but wala. Pa naman eh. Kayo ni Kay, matagal na kayo. Mm-hmm. Kaya lang kayo magkakababy. Uh, mukhang ano eh. Uh, trying. Okay. Trying, yeah. Pero it, it, it's not looking like it's an easy task. But we're trying. But okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, kayong dalawa, When I see you guys, I mean, I haven't seen you guys together in person, pero yeah. when I see you guys on social media and everywhere else, nakakatuwa kayo yung tignan. Ramdam mo yung, yung pagiging magkaibigan nyo. Ramdam ko yung oh, support yeah. nyo sa'yo. That's true, yeah. How important was it for you, di ba? Having a partner in life, a life partner, mm-hmm. na dumating after magkaroon ka na ng sponge cola. Mm. Um, ano eh? Si Kay kasi ENFP din. Same personality type kami. Okay. So, para pag magkasama kami, para lang kami parehong may fireworks tapos sinisindihan lang namin sabay-sabay. Alam mo yun, parang medyo guns a-blazing kind of Then, gang, relationship. Maingay ng bahay. Maingay, maingay. Tsaka ano, uh, ganun din siya, campaigner din siya na personality type. So, nagbabato rin siya lang. Minsan magigising ako tapos may idea siya for the band. Mga tipong, I think you should do this and this and this. Ganyan. Tapos, 
kausap na yung management namin minsan. Siya yung, minsan yung gumagal, gumagalaw for us minsan. Yung tipong i-message na yung marketing person namin right. na pwede magpaproduce ng X number of hoodies. Mga ganyan, napapadala. Tapos parang, para saan? Anyway, yun, para siya. Kasi pag, pagdating mo doon, bibigay mo to sa kanila. Sa ako eh. Tapos, siya yung kumukuha siya ng mga guesting for us kapag, kasi pag uh, may makausap siya, tapos may isip niya na, uy, pwede sponge dyan ah. Uy, pwede, pwede sponge dyan. So parang, okay. Does that count as nepotism? Maybe it might. But I don't know. Parang hindi naman. Kasi proud she. Oo nga, exactly. Tsaka parang, hindi naman pangit yung mga kanta, di ba? So parang, pag rinig komedya, parang pag marinig naman, oh, ang ganda nga. Di ba? So, okay. Over the weekend, just a point mo, over the weekend, mm. hinar- may tumugtog kami, yung mga kasama namin banda, hinarap ko yung mga asawa nila. Ah, okay. Sabi ko, nasa yung mga asawa nyo? Sagot nila sa akin, hindi, kasi, um, gig to eh. So, off limit sila. Trabaho to. So, kailangan di sila kasama. I don't subscribe to that. Kami ni Jaja, mm. pag may show ako, I'm just si Jaja. Uh-huh. I mean, nalulungkot ako pag wala yung asawa ko. Uh-huh. How are you pagdating sa mga ganon? Um, ako, gusto ko nandyan siya. So, pag pwede siya, pupunta siya. Right. Okay naman sa akin. Wala naman problem. Parang, hindi, hindi naman siya parang I need to concentrate kasi. Or at, yun. Di ba? Oo, oh, hindi naman. Okay lang. Um, tsaka si Kay kasi, dahil ENFP siya, pwede mo siya iwan somewhere tapos magiging kaibigan lang yung lahat ang kasama niya dun eh. So okay lang. <laughs> hindi naman siya parang quiet type din eh. She's good at making friends. Yung siya tsaka yung dad niya, pareho ng type ng personality na pwede iwan mo somewhere kaibigan na yung lahat ang kausap niya dun. Lahat yun. Paano ka nagkakilala? Uh, uh, pinakila- uh, in-introduce kami ni Tita Angeli. Okay, Pangilinan. But, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Angeli Pangilinan Valenciano. Tapos, nalal- uh, in-introduce na kami sa Eraserheads concert. Yung second. So, After the heart attack. Yeah. Okay. So actually, kung hindi na heart attack si Ellie, hindi kami nakakilala. Hindi kami ma- or, or baka in some other way na hindi mas na hindi special yung context. Alam mo 'yun? Right. Pero 'yun, na meet ko siya sa backstage noon. So th- thanks Ellie. Uh no, not, not 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 thanks for, you know. The, uh, I I feel I, I feel yeah with the whole health thing, but kung hindi nangyari talaga 'yun, ito yeah. So nakakilala kayo tapos. <laughs> tapos um Ano ba nangyari? Ah nung uh, tap, after that nung mix awards of the Teka, same year yun ang pagkakilala parang hi hello lang oh yun. hi hello parang hi oh, tapos nag hi siya tapos sabi niya parang sabi ata niya parang you want some tuna so, ikaw parang, oh. was it a simple hi or was it a uy hi oh uy. De, alam mo actually nakakatawa to eh kasi it, b, b, hindi ko normally ginagawa to pero nung nag hi ako sa kanya nakatingin ako parang hi parang nag second tingin ako uh-huh. normally hindi ako nag second tingin eh kasi parang ayokong nalalaman ng mga tao yung mga crush mo oh ay parang ganyan oh. so parang Hello. Parang hello. <laughs> Pero ayan, so napa-second tingin ako. Tapos eventually uh, yung son ni Tita Angeli si Paolo who directs our concerts. Um siya yung parang nag-matchmaker dun sa whole thing. After ng mix award. Ah, alam ko na, nung mix awards. Ito okay, alam ko din nangyari, sorry. Just Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Ayusin, ayusin ko yung kwento. Sorry, Kay. Okay. Oh, yeah, mag-message naman sa asawa sabihin, mali istorya niya. Oo oh, nga, oo oh, nga, oo oh, nga eh. Kaya ito, after nung Heads concert, uh, nag-fo- nag-followhan kami on Twitter. Tapos, parang nag- nag-like naman siya ng mga post ko, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos parang, eventually, sinabi ko sa sarili ko na sa Mix Awards, kakausapin ko to. Kasi yung after party ng Mix Awards, sa bar ng drummer namin. So, alam ko na parang home court advantage yun. So, kay, kay na Ted. Oh, kay na Ted, yeah. Ano so, yung bar ko, niya? Uh, Mundial. Is it still around? Wala na, wala okay. na. I think closed mga 2014. And, but, um, lagi kami nandun eh. So, uh, alam ko na kakausapin ko siya sa Mix Awards. So, yung opening ng mix, siya yung nag-perform. Tapos ako nasa audience ako. Tapos after niya mag-perform, lumabas ako para mag-iwasi. nag pa ako nun eh. Tapos, nakasalubong ko siya sa labas. Tapos sabi niya, Hi! Parang, it, it, it's, eh, parang nice that you're here. Parang, I feel like I know you so well because of Twitter. Tapos ako parang sobrang natameme ako na parang, teka, pinaplano kong kausapin to, bigla ako yung kinausap. Tapos, diwasin muna ako sa labas. Tapos sobrang, alam mo parang, did that just happen? Tapos pag upo ko, kasama ko yung best friend ko dun eh. Sabi ko sa kanya, kinausap ako ni Kay sa labas. Talaga? Oo. Oh. Sabi lang nga, mukhang it's a sign. Oo, oh, sige. It's a sign. So sinabi ko, eh, ngayon, nung, nung tapos na yung mix awards, lahat magtatambay muna sa labas, long goodbyes yan eh. Sinabi ko kay Pablo Valenciano na, uy, invite mo naman si Kay, oh, kasi... Sa Mundial. Oo, oh, oh, invite mo si Kay kasi, sa Mundial kasi... Tapos parang, why? You like her? Okay. Tapos parang na-excite si Pablo kasi mahilig siya mag-matchmaker. 
So, naalala ko pa talaga yung, what? You like her? Okay. Tapos parang punta siya. Hindi ka pala binigyan ng chance magsabi ng yes or no. O nga, no? O nga, no? Oo. Oh. Oh, buti na lang. Oo, oh, na-excite na- na- siya eh. Oo, oh, oh. tama, tama, tama. Mukha namang oo eh. So, oh. ayun. So, yeah. Uh, in-invite niya. Tapos nag-hang out kami doon. Tapos nangyari, that night, maraming tao doon. Tapos maraming nagpapashot. Tapos may mga tao na binibigyan siya ng drinks pa ulit-ulit. So, ang ginagawa ko, sinasalo ko lahat ng mga drinks. Ikaw ang umiino? Oo, oh, for her. Oo, kasi pinibigyan siya ng tequila shot na yung mga ganyang kalalaki. Yung, alam mo, medyo parang apat yan. Malakas na yan. Right. So, med- which, which, by the way, um, as of this taping, sinayin mo hindi ka nainom. So, Oo nga, hindi ako inom. Tinayin ko hanggang ka, san, hanggang kaya natatagal. Okay. Uh, uh, hindi, hindi na, hindi na. For, na, for now. For now. I, I just want to be in the moment all the time. Okay. And be completely 100% <laughs> there. Yan lang naman. Uh, okay, so ikaw uh, sumasal na ng mga shots niya. Tapos? Yeah. Tapos parang kasama ko siya buong night. Tapos may mga pictures kami. Tapos parang ah, nakakatawa kasi hindi naman niya ako technically kilala. Alam, alam lang niya ako by name, by face, tsaka Twitter. Twitter. Tapos parang kami magkasama buong gabi. Tapos parang ang daming nangyari. Parang yung gabi din may nag-away sa labas. Medyo wild yung party na yun eh. Sobrang like ang daming nakakaalala pa rin ng party na yun. Tapos meron pang nawalan ng shoes na girl na nagpatulong sa friend ko. So kinilangan ko siya buhatin sa parking lot. Dahil yung parking lot doon, may mga bato-bato. Right. So parang dalawa kami nagbuhat sa kanya, dalawa lang siya. Yung mga ganoon, parang ang dami nangyari. Tapos pagdating ko sa isang fast food chain na letter M yung simula, parang may mga nag-uusap kung paano sila gaganti dahil parang nag-aaway yung gabi. Parang what? Parang, <laughs> tapos ako yung huling umalis, umalis doon sa party. Na parang it was mga 6am na. Yung parang magsimula na yung mag, mag-blue yung sky. So tapos nung, nung gumising ka sa ulirat? Nag-tweet ako ng ng something like para sa para sa OPM tapos mga 9am yun para sa OPM tapos exactly like ni Kay yung yung message so ako para wow Uy. tapos kausap ko na naman siya ulit na, bu- tapos kinuha ko yung number niya nag-DM ako like a creep guy nag-DM ako na para hey can I get your number tapos kinuha ko tapos kausap ko na siya tapos from then from there kausap ko na siya everyday like mga 2 hour 3 hour conversations Gano'n ka tagal kayo nag-date? Alam mo, hindi daw kami nag-date noong time na yun. Friend lang daw ako noon. <laughs> so ako parang, nung, sin- nung tinawag niya ako na, na girlfriend at one point, as in parang, you're like my girlfriend. Tapos parang sinap ko tagay yung car. Ginawa ko yung parang sa sine. Sinap ko yung kotse. Parang alam mo, hindi mo ako girlfriend. I'm a very threatening dude. Like, I am out here to get you. You know what I'm saying? So, I am not your girlfriend. I am a guy. Nigga, so may parang na tinawag na parang you're like I can talk to you about anything. You're like one of my girlfriends. Parang like, girlfriend. Parang all of a sudden friend zone. Friend, 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 friend oh, parang ako naman. Parang kaya kaya ko makawala sa friend zone na yan. I, I, got, I got some bite. I mean, parang Greg Popovich fan to. Labo basketball pa rin. Pero I mean, parang ayun, so ginawa ko 'yun. Tapos eventually, okay na. Um Eh, y- alam mo, kaya ko lang na-realize, no? Mm-hmm. Yung paghihirit ni Kay sa yun na yun, na-activate na naman yung Watch me. Oh, yun nga. Kasi parang, ah, friend zone mo ako. I'm gonna get out of this. I'm gonna marry you. Eh, eh, tama, tama. Yun nga yun. Diba? Nice, 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 nice. Yun nga yun. <laughs> Galing. Okay. Okay. Diba? Alala ko pa kung nasa, patawid, patawid kami ng ano yun eh, ng Gilmore. Nasa kotse kami pareho. Siyempre, kotse pareho. Tapos, as a Gilmore, ako nagdadrive. Patawid ng Aurora Boulevard. Tapos doon yung sinabi. Kaya yung hinto ko, tama rin naman kasi red light. Hindi naman yung parang madrama na parang sa gitna ng highway. <laughs> you know what? Eh, hindi, hindi ganun. Ano lang? Hindi okay, mo so... ko girlfriend. <laughs> girlfriend. Kasi pwede mo kasi ako kausapin about girl things eh. Yeah. Kaya, alam mo yun, like, you can talk to me about like fashion, makeup, mga things that, na, not, in 2022, anyone can talk about of anything course. by the way. Just, yeah. just to clarify. Uh, Pero, uh, uh, Betro is a thing uh, in 2022. Uh, yeah. Oh. So, yeah. So, 2010, noong time na yun, like, you can talk to me about anything. Kasi ito now. And yun nga, parang, f- huwag mo kay friend zone. So, so umaba doon, so pumalag ka, di ba? Mm. So, yun na yung official dating part or hindi pa rin? Hindi pa rin daw yata eh. Pero, alam ko na na parang, okay na to. Kasi, kung hindi pa rin, it's gonna be okay. Alam, alam, alam mo na eh, kausap, may, may, kausap mo na siya. Tsaka, ginawa, uh, ginawa ko na yung first date thing. Yeah. Meron akong first date, hindi man move, pero, actually suggestion for guys right. and girls dating. Um, kung gusto nyo mag, mag, maganda yung andaran ng first date nyo, go to a place na pwede kayo magkamay. 
Actually, para tayo nag-first date pala kanina. Kasi nag- oh, nag-kamay, kamay nagkamay tayo. tayo. Oh, oh, oh. Tama nice, lang. Nice, nice, nice. Kasi ganun yun eh. Parang, uh, kasi pag nagkamay ka, disarming yung feeling na yun eh. Yes. When you're in t- touching your food, it's the closest thing But Buti lang hindi tayo nagsubuan kanina. Ano? Oh, nga, hindi pa. Uh, uh, pang, pang nga date number seven na yun. Eh. Uh, <laughs> pero yung first date, ano yun? Uh, uh, Kinamay namin yung garlic ribs eh. Oh, kasi mas, oo oh, eh. Okay, hindi kasi yun talaga disarming yung the act, the act it's itself eh, is is disarming. Yeah. So parang mahirap mag-pretend to be someone else kapag you're now an organism eating Correct. its food. Correct. So, no lies. So, uh, nagkamay kayo tapos... Yun, sa ano yun? Sa Max's ano, chicken. Na, na sa chicken, Tomas Morato? Hindi, sa, sa Green Hills. Okay. Tapos chicken all you can yun. So buffet. Ooh. May ganun na promo sa, dito yata wala eh, pero sa Philippines meron. Pero masarap ang Max's everywhere. Ah. Oh, Pare, pareho yung lasa. Pareho yung lasa. Oo, oh, huling-huli. Ha. So ngayon, ilang taon yung ginagawa to bago mo sinabing magpakasal tayo? Ah. This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates. Ang realtor na pato. We were, we were together for three years muna. Tapos, nag-propose ako eventually. So, while this was going on, the band was going on. Yeah. The band knew that you had this relationship with Kay. Yeah, yeah. She was non-threatening to the band. Not at all. You were writing more music, less music. More music. More music. Yeah. So, yung productivity level mo, up. Yung, yung puso uh-huh. mo, up. Lahat, lahat up. Lahat up. Kasi ano rin eh. Pag yung, yun nga, pag yung girlfriend mo, ENFP, tutula ka nun eh. Yeah. So, tulakan. So, oh, yeah, pareho syempre, kami. Siyempre, ikaw, ganun din. Yeah, yeah. Pag, pag may sinabi ka, ah, talaga, ha? Pano? Oh. Tsaka ano, like, re-record ko yung, uh, yung album niya. Ako yung nag-play ng marami sa instruments doon. Right. Like, drums, bass, guitar. Uh, nag-produce ako ng mga songs. Tsaka tipong, may mga ginagawa ako na gusto ko kasing, hindi lang naman dahil gusto ko mag- mag-music, pero statement din. Na, kunyari, may flight ako pag land ko galing Jensen sa Manila, diretso akong studio. Na hindi ginagawa pa ako, na, na, hindi pa ako natutulog. Kasi parang, ano yun, language of love lang yun, na parang, I'm a make uh, I'm, I'm I'm a take care of your album. You know, kasi that's what you do for people you love. So, diretso agad. Das parang kahit inaantok ako, parang ang sarap ng feeling. So, Energizer Bunny ka rin. Yeah, non-stop ENFP all okay. day. So, ayun. It helps kasi I run every day, so yes. at least may energy ka talaga pag if you work out a lot. Eh. So, so uh, finally nag-propose ka. Yeah. Pero sinabi mo sa mga kabanda mo magpo-propose ka? Hindi naman, pero alam sinabi, naman nila eh. Sinabi mo sa parents mo magpo-propose ka? Sinabi ko uh, ba Sabi mo sa kuya mo? Sabi Sina- sa, hindi ko alam kung sinabi sa, ko sa parents. Sa sister mo? Kanino? Alam mo, hindi ako sure kung sinabi ko. Hindi ko maalala kung sinabi ko. Kasi parang... O, paano ka nag-propose? Yeah. Ang nakakainis, yung proposal, um, bumili kasi ako ng ring from a place. Tapos yung hindi ako dun sa store nagpunta kasi machi-chismis yun eh. Right. So, alam ko na... Hindi naman sa it's a big deal, chismis. Pero ayoko lang na mala... I mean, parang it's a private thing. So, ang doon ako sa bahay ng owner nagpunta para doon ko sa kanya binili yung ring sa hindi sa hindi kumbaga hindi sa store kasi right. pag store ang daling yes. CCTV footage whatever I don't know so yun I bought the ring tapos nakakainis kasi isang time nasa si Kay nagpunta siya sa condo ko tapos nakita kasi niya na ang kalat-kalat so nahanap niya yung ring nakita talaga niya oo alam ko eh kasi Tsaka tinanong ko, nakita niya. Nakita niya kasi ang kalat eh. Tapos nandun siya sa parang... Lik- Kumbaga, na- Hindi nas- ko na tinago yung ring talaga. Nas- nas- nakatago kasi siya sa kalat eh. Andun siya, <laughs> alam mo yun? Andun siya sa mga damit na nakatop eh. <laughs> Tapos parang nakita niya. Tapos parang... Nakita ko pa yung parang, parang umatras siya ng ganun eh. Tapos parang ano eh, box na alam naman niya yung brand. Kasi sponsor niya yun eh. Alam niya kung ano yung laman ng box. Sponsor niya yung brand. Okay. So, uh, parang, so, nung nakita na niya... Ako yung asar na asar kasi parang bira ako magalit eh. Pero yun yung time na medyo nagalit ako na... Kasi yan yung thing eh. Huwag mong pakialaman yung, yung, yung gamit ko. Lalo na pag magpo-propose ako sa'yo. That, 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 that's a once in a lifetime situation. Bro. Pero ako talaga parang, oh my God. Ngayon kahit anong gawin kong setup, alam na niyang parating. <laughs> diba? Kasi ando na yung ring eh. Man. Still remembering frustration, ganun. So, nakatawa siya, patay mali siya, anong... Ne, parang, hindi ko alam eh. It was a weird... <laughs> I didn't know what I felt. She looked like she was parang a mixture of confused, surprised, and also, alam din naman yung parating na eh. Kasi... Uh, yeah, tsaka parang... So, you guys, you guys didn't, ano, you guys didn't live together before no, no, marriage. No. Okay. So, uh, ayun, so... <laughs> ah, hassle nun. Da, alam mo, we should have lived together para natago ko ng mas madali. Ah, di ba? Kasi, wala. Kaya niya nahanap kasi nakalatan siya sa... Hindi, hindi naman niya kasi condo yun. So, nakita niya yung condo. Tsaka yung condo ko pa kasi I was living in a three-bedroom condo alone. 
uh, condo ni Tita Blanca. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I was renting from uh, from her. So, parang, <laughs> parang may three bedrooms dito na pwede kong taguan. <laughs> parang yung kinalat mo pa yun. Kasama ng mga kalat para hindi obvious. Ito nga, pero naging well, trap pala yun. No? Parang, oh my God. God grabe. So, ano ending? Wala. Nung nag-propose ako, alam, alam, alam kung alam niya. <laughs> Kasi alam ko na eh, parang alam mo yun, na d- d- kung, kung saan kami nag- first nag-kiss ever, doon kami, doon ako nag-propose. Hindi ba cliche yun? Oo. Oh, pero and, kasi… And then for, for hindi, a songwriter, well, bakit yan, yan? Well, hindi naman cliche yung mahanap ng, ng girlfriend mo yung, <laughs> ng, fia, ng, yung, yung, yung ring eh. So yun na lang yung part na mas wild. Teka, naging fiancé mo ba o oh, hindi? Oh, hindi, fiancé. Fian- 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 after. after uh, tapos, that. yeah, I proposed. Tapos, kinasal kami ng… Nag, uh, nag, nang March. So, sinabi mo sa daddy niya? Oh, after ng proposal. Tsaka ako sinabi. Okay. Anong sabi ng dad niya? Hindi ko malala eh. Pero parang, okay naman yata. Mami niya? Nalaman. Sure, hindi ko maalala yung mga ganitong parts. but hindi ko maalala? Parang ang tagal na. Pero, kasi kami naman ni Mama Shasha. Okay, pakisulat we, we, na lang sa comment. Oo nga eh. Kasi kami, kami ni Mama Shasha parang okay okay kami ever since eh. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. parang when you talk to her, parang ano, parang maganda yung relationship namin. I think. That's good. So, okay naman. Sinabi ko sa kanya, hindi ko maalala lahat ng mga parts <laughs> ng part na yun. Parang bibilis ng mga pangyayari. Tsaka may mga tao na nakakatawa kasi ng wedding namin. Nung, di ba yung nakat na cake tapos may toast. Tapos yung binigay sa kanya, So, uh, a, a certain lime soda, yung laman. So, I think some people there thought na maybe she was pregnant nung wedding. Kasi, kasi lime soda kasi ang, kasi, ang, oh. kasi nag-announce kami na ikakasal ng Feb, tapos March na yung wedding. And normally, pag ganun, right. parang Pabuntis, people think, oh. Oh, parang, oh no, parang may nahabol na deadline to kasi baka yung night mga ganun. <laughs> Pero hindi, kaya lang nagmukhang rushed kasi tinatag, we were very, ano eh, uh, we weren't very public about the relationship. Parang, Ayaw namin mag... Parang hindi kami nagiging parang love team. Alam mo yun? Yung, yeah. Kasi... At alam yun, nakatulong yun. Ha? Because pretty much ang nakakatuwa nga sa inyo. Kaya ako tinatanong yung parallelism. Ang galing eh. Here you are. Meron kayong uh, Yael and Kay. Mm-hmm. And here you are again. Meron kang sponge cola. Yeah. Sobrang intact ang ano eh, ang branding ng sponge cola. Sobrang intact ang branding ninyong mag-asawa. Yeah. And, and they can coexist. Yeah, they can, yeah. Yeah. Tsaka mayroon pa si Kay ng Kay, Kay with Mama Shasha. Ano may ganun pa. Yes. Element, yeah. yeah. And yung fans, pati siya inakap eh. Oo. Oo. Tsaka ano rin, parang, mayroon din, nagkaroon din kami ng mga tita fans din from Mama Shasha's yes. fans also. Yes, diba? Yung parang, kasi nag-guest ako sa mga concert, ganyan. Tsaka feeling ko kasi parang, alam mo na actually natutuwa ako sa relationship na ni Mama Shasha kasi alam ko na ano eh, nothing is forced. Like when I see it, even from a third person perspective, I feel na, ah okay, parang, tsaka like when we talk, alam ko na parang we talk about a lot of things. Tapos hindi siya, yun, hindi, nothing forced. Parang hindi kami naubusan eh. Kasi siya rin naman eh, pagkausap mo si Mama Shasha, you can hang out with her all day. Right. Tsaka maganda siyang kasama ng one-on-one. Parang okay siya kasama ng mga seryosong mabigat na talks. Tsaka ang dami na niyang pinagdaanan sa music eh. Oh my God, at sa buhay. Ano so that, parang yeah. ibang-iba yung background ng pinag Pero makita mo yung mga similarities tsaka ano yung mga things you can pick up as a band from a solo artist na yung career nagsispan na ng how many ng decades. And to think nagbanda rin siya before. Yeah, 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 exactly. So alam din yung mga galawan ng parang naiintindihan niya ang, ang band politics or yeah. whatever. Ganyan. So uh, everything. So she's, tsaka she's a perceptive, tsaka she, she likes to read eh. So yun, kasama yun sa mga hindi ka mauubusan ng laman kung pasok ng pasok yung information. It doesn't, and it doesn't have to be like a how-to. Right. Kind, you don't have to read a how-to book on how to like assemble something. Pwede kang magbasa ng kwento about a, cow, a, a love story of a cowboy and an astronaut. And, uy, ikaw lang, cowboy and astronaut. Diba, Pwede yun, no? Diba toy story oh. yun? <laughs> cowboy at astronaut. Oh, hindi oh, oh. ko sinasad dyan, pero toy story yun. Pero ganun, parang, and you, you'll pick up something that you can use for songwriting. Yes. So, yun. So, Yeah, si Mama Shasha ganun. So, ang interesting din niya kasama. And you'll also learn a lot of industry things from her. So, kaya may minaskip tayo. I'll go. So, ngayon, kinasal ka na, di ba? Pero, babacktrack tayo because hindi natin napag-usapan at natuloy Yun. kung paano ka nagpaalam sa mommy daddy mo. Ah, move out? Oo. Sabi ko lang, ma, mag-move out, baka mag-move out na ako. Baka, talaga nilagyan uh, ko uh, ng baka. Oo, uh, 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 hindi pa. I'm just being, you know, mag-move being, out ako. As uh, para, uh, ah, okay. Sabi niya, kung mag-move out ka, doon ka na lang sa kondo ni Tita Blanca. <laughs> Yun nga. Why, why not? Oo, uh, uh, parang, uh, so, okay lang. 
So ayun, parang yun na yung, yun na yung does, it count, does it count na nag-move out ako kung tumira ako sa bahay ng tita ko? Alam mo, siya yung kitita blaka yung kasi siya, hindi nag-move out. Oh, di ba? Hindi. <laughs> Parang ah, nag- hindi ka pala nag-move move out, move out. Hindi. Ka lang pala. Nag-move out ka. Kung nagbayad ka ng rent, kiti tablaan. Nagbayad ako. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Nagbayad ako ng rent. So, tinitrin nato kang tenant. Then, nag-move out ka, di ba? <laughs> Nakakatawa na paisip din ako doon. Hindi kaya ta nag-move out kung tita mo yun. Tapos yung discount ang laki. <laughs> ang laki-laki ng discount. <laughs> Three bedroom yun eh. Mahal mahal magrat na three bedroom, di ba? Pero yung, yung pinabayad ko parang pang studio eh. Parang ano lang yun, parang one bedroom rent siguro. Kung magkakitita vlog ka, parang, parang may nakatira lang, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, oh. kaysa naman nandun lang siya. Tapos oh, at least may nagli- oh. naglilinis. Ang dami ko natutunan dun, dun ako natuto maghugas ng pinggan. <laughs> alam mo dati, hindi ko alam na pag iniwan mo yung food mo sa... sa na, oh, ano? feeling mo magically nal- nalilinis. Oo, oh, oh. tapos alam mo ang nangyari sa akin, nagkaroon ako, nag- nagka-worms. The grossest Yay! thing ever. It was so it was so bad. Kasi hindi ako domesticated at that point eh. Parang, parang iniwan ko yung plate dun sa may sink. Tapos, kasi sinundo na ako, pumunta ng airport, lipad kami, weekend. Yeah! Pagbalik, pagbalik ko, biglang, yung leftover food biglang may... Maggots. Yup. Tapos so, parang, ganun pala yun. Tapos lahat sila parang, hindi mo alam. Parang kala mo, galing-galing mo. Hindi, <laughs> hindi man lang sinabi yan. Basta ganun kasama. Pero it was gross. So, Ay, I had to laundry, clean it. Laundry, laundry, yung laundry. Yung laundry, I... I I know how, but I just ask other people to do it. That's the one thing that I yeah. Si si Kay naglo laundry madalas. Ako yung tagahugas ng pinggan madalas. Parang yun yung division ng labor. Ah, uh, ako rin madalas naglo luto. Um, yeah, luto ako, hugas ng pinggan ako. Ah, uh, vacuum si Kay kasi nag-enjoy niya yung vacuum. Eh. Right. Maganding vacuum niya yung that, that Dyson. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Na parang mga laser gun. Yeah. Uh-huh. Tapos you can dance kasi. Kaya cha ba niyong gumagalaw yun eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yung, so Nung, nung, nung nag-move in kayo yung dalawa, mm-hmm. did it make you more productive? Ang mahirap lang, yan. kapag kailangan ko magsulat ng kanta ng gabi, yan. kailangan lahat yun. Ganito kalapit yung miking, tapos yung singing, laging ganyan na lang. Yan. Yan. Hindi, hindi, so makikisama ka na eh. Oo, kasi maingay. Hindi ko pwede bumirit. So yung mga, yes. yung mga track na, mat- na mabirit, gawin mo na lang sa hapon. Pero kasi baka mawala yung idea eh. So kunyari, kung yung, let's say, kung yung, yung song namin, let's say, huwag kang bibitin, huwag la, i-record ko na lang yun ng, Okay, baby, whisper na whisper tapos alam ko lang andun tapos naka-point na lang na i-double track ko mamaya na birit na. Kasi ibulong mo na lang kasi ang ingay, may ingay. Ang lakas pag kumakanta kasi yeah, ako. Yeah. Tapos kunyari multi-artist na performance. Pag makita mo 'yung mic ko, nakatu 'yung mic ko. Yung mga ibang singers naka-7. Even six, right seven, now, eight. ang layo lang pakita mo sa kanila. Ang layo mo sa mic. Uh, oh, pero yeah. ma-project ako eh ever oh, since yeah. kasi I think theater background. So sanay lang ako ng So like teatro ka rin. Oo, uh, kami ng kuya ko. Yeah, sa uh, I yeah, I did some plays no high school, college the musical director of a play. So, yung mundo ni Kay, theater person din siya. Yes, so, we yes. all lahat kami pasok doon. Like even my sister and so. No, finally nakatira na kayo sa isang bahay yeah. for the first time. Yeah. How was that? How was that? And kaya ako Did, tinatanong, ha? kaya uh, ako tinatanong sa lahat because um I want people to see na tinapboard mo yung pagiging musician mo. You did everything in its proper order. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Diba, yung pagtapos mo ng college. Saka grassroots promotion. Grassroots promotion. Diba, securing your band and your bandmates. Tawid sa mainstream. Tawid sa mainstream. Yeah, yeah. Diba, having a girlfriend na talagang naging fiancé na naging asawa. And everything is going well hanggang ngayon. Yeah. So yun ang gusto ko makita ng mga tao na when done right, you reap the right, ano, the right fruits. Eh. Pero ang Tanong dito is, yung transition ng single to married, kamusta yung first day na yun? Yung first day, oh, hindi okay. ko maalala yung first day. Oh, pero yung hindi ka makakanta, mga ganyan. Hindi, ganyan. pero yung mga yun, yung, hindi, hindi pa sa first day yun eh. Okay. Parang mga weeks, ay hindi, siguro mga months in, na parang, syempre hindi ko pwede mag-ingay kasi kailangan niya gumising ng maaga para magpuntang showtime eh. E ang call time sa showtime, minsan minsan 9, minsan 10, minsan Tapos 11. Tapos may traffic Yeah. Well, kami naman, ang maganda kasi yung area namin, mad- mad- uh, madaling takasan ng traffic eh. Okay, okay. So, para kami may teleport zone. Right, right, right. right. Then, hindi naman sa meta- ma- hindi mo matatakasan yun, pero at least, para nakat mo yung malaking chunk yes. ng traffic. Yeah. So, she gets to work in like 30 minutes. Kaya naman like 30. Like maybe 28 minutes. Nung pandemic, 11 eh. Lagi kong bilang. Ayop, no? Parang wala kasing kotse sa daan eh. Ako lang. Tapos meron naman ako nung pass na ako yung... Right. Uh, parang ako yung designated driver of the of life. <laughs> so, so, yun. So, it, Laging 11 minutes, tas U-turn lang. Ano lang yun eh? Edsa, dire-direcho, tas U-turn sa, sa Quezon Ave. Sa Quezon Ave. Uh, tapos na. Right, oh. na sa, right na, ando ko na sa ABS. 
So yun, that's 11 minutes. That mga two songs, yun, three songs kung punk. Uh, oh, uh, ano? Uh, three songs three kung punk. punk uh. Okay. So the, now, in this phase of your of your career, mm-hmm. okay, everything is going great. Ano pa ang pwede mong ma-achieve as a singer-songwriter for the band? Um, well, hmm. singer-songwriter-wise, ano pa rin naman eh, parang, it's really just to keep writing and keep sharing stories and, you know. Can you elaborate on that? Because uh, people think na, na pag tumapboard ka na, tumitigil tayo, akala na tumitigil tayo magsulat ng kante. It, uh, it doesn't work that hindi, way. Hindi kasi the reason why you made it this far ay dahil writing, it, 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 kasi advice ko eh, a focus on writing kasi no one can play your songs the way ikaw lang yung pumakakanta niya na, na original eh kasi kung, lalo na kung sayo siya yeah. diba? kasi ang cover pwede gawin ng iba pero pag original song mo ikaw lang yan so hahanapin ka pag nagustuhan ng mga taong song hahanapin ka nila for a long long time so that's why we're still around still playing lots of, lots of shows kasi the songs made an impact and there are also other songs being made pero yung songs mo sayo lang yan so right. and, so um, ngayon hindi kasi yun nga eh, hindi naman ako talaga tumitigil kasi this is who I am eh. it's not it's not hindi ako nagre-write ng songs dahil trabaho ko siya so wala ka na off switch oo wala parang dire-diretso lang to nung buong pandemic nagkaroon pa tumodo pa yung on switch kasi one facet of being a musician is of course performing right yes. but you could we couldn't perform face to face for like two years so nagla-live kami sa Facebook na sobrang thankful kami kasi ang daming nanonood noon mga tipong at a cert, at yung tipong 20, may, ang pinakamataas ata namin, 28.6, uh, 28,000 people watching. At one given sa, stream. Uh, sa, oh, wow. sa, uh, na, hindi yung 28,000 views. Ah. Natapos yung gabi na yun, parang 2 million yung views. Kasi right. 28,000 people at, watching at, at any given point. Any given point, uh, yeah. uh, So, it was for, uh, I think it was for Halloween. Kasi yung time na wala namang gimmick yung mga tao. Eh. Tapos nag-Halloween nag- kami. I think Halloween. Tapos yan, nag-Christmas din kami. Tsaka, you know, people were, had no choice. Like, and they, actually, they did have a lot of choices. They could have just played games they could have or watched someone else someone else or pwedeng nag home shopping i mean dami naman yeah. pwedeng ka rin gawin sa phone eh. pero we're super thankful that people really like did that. home shopping pamain na lang po pamain ay mga ganyan diba para <laughs> diba para pwede kasi means lahat yan nasa nasa yeah. phone eh so yeah. lahat yan distra- pwedeng they could have done all those apps yes. instead of you so thank you sa mga nanood sa amin pero um what happened was wala akong off switch eh so nag concentrate kami on writing and recording so Nung hindi pa pwede magkita-kita, nag-record na agad kami ng song, tapos pinamix namin kay Angie Ruzul. Who's, tapos, one, of the, who's one of the best, by the, the way. Best, yeah. One of the best. Tapos parang aliw na aliw kay Angie kasi yung favorite niya. Laging sinasabi sa akin, huwag mo na gamitin yung condenser mic mo. Pwede bang gamitin mo yung SM57? SM57? Yun ang gusto niyang gamitin ko na vocal. Yung nilalagay sa snare drum. Mm. Kasi parang, mas madali, tsaka kasi rinig yung ingay kapag, ng, ng condo kapag uh, ano eh kapag naka-condenser ka. So, yeah. kailangan pa niya i-cure yun. Pero yes. yung dali unidirectional, tsaka mas madaling, tsaka nakakatawa lang na sa presyong $110 with tax. Yes. Parang, tsaka ano yun eh, pwede mong, parang pwede gawing weapon yun eh. Sobrang oh, sobrang tiba, tiba, tiba eh, di ba? Hardcore eh. Yep. Di ba? Pwede mong gawing parang isang dulo ng tsaka. So, yun ang ginagamit mo. Oo. Uh-uh, usually, for an, pagka home recording. Pero oh, pag sige. studio naman kasi controlled environment, so pwede na mag-ano, condenser. Pero yeah, parang I use that mic for recording everything. Vocals, guitars, Kapag kasi demo, pag sinipag ako, yun na yun. Uh, yung, i- gamitin ko na yung sure para, maganda, yeah. para pwedeng final na take na agad. Yes. Pero minsan, dahil mas gusto ko pa rin na mas magaling mag si Armo sa akin infinitely eh. So kahit na chords lang naman yung gagawin ko, mas gusto ko si Armo pa rin yung gumawa. Kasi, ang description ko kasi kay Armo musically, parang pag may song na kami tapos pumasok na si Armo, parang may dragon na i-burn yung swords. Oh, parang kanina. I mean, uh, off-cam, di ba? May ginawa kang drum pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Si yeah. Tapos alam ko na galagin ni Armo yan ng, monst- uh, ng monstrous amounts of uh, delay. The delay yung guitars. Yeah, yeah. tapos gagawa yan ng parang wall of sound. So, ang galing-galing yung mag-gitara. So, ayun, parang... Nung, nung wedding namin, nagpe-play siya ng instrumental piece. Kaya rin ako naiyak dun eh. Pa- na parang yung pagpasok niya, parang si Armo kasi, hindi siya, hindi siya mapeg eh. So, pag mag uusap kayo, hindi yun parang ano peg mo na gusto. Hindi, hindi, he'll never say that. Ano? Anong gusto mong sound? Ang sabihin ko, kunyari, uh, uh, that theme was sun, uh, uh, sunrise. So, okay, I'll make you hear a sunrise. So, ganun. Wow. So, yung tunog niya parang, it eventually became, I think, part of our, uh, a song we eventually released. Pero parang, puro delay na parang tunog race of, ra- yung race ng sun gumagano. At nakaka-relate ka ron. Oo. So, alam ko agad na parang, yun nga yung tunog na yun. Oh my God, nakakayak to. 
Tapos si, K- si K pumasok, tapos exactly yan sa ano ako. Okay. So sa wedding mo, kasama ang sponge part Si, si Armo yung ginag, ano, siya yung nag, uh, nag-music na live habang nagmamarch ng instrumental piece na electric guitar and delay. So, ah, yun, uh, no? Sobrang galing. Yung, yung style of playing kasi parang ano eh, parang pinsan ni Edge pa rin of, yeah. of uh, U2. Yeah. So may U2-ness to it. Ano ang palido ni Edge? Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> Pero alam mo, actually si, si Edge at si Ed Sheeran, mahilig din gumawa ng delay. delay. Yeah. Minsan nga parang may mga tracks sila na walang hi-hat, ang nagiging hi-hat nila, delay yung na delay guitar. Yung 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 yung. Yes. So, I, I like Ed Sheeran and I like U2. Yes. So, so Sponge Cola buo, your marriage and your partnership buo. Yeah. yeah. Your family buo. Yeah. Ang galing, no? Ah, masaya, masaya. So, it's been a, so far, it's been a very good run. This episode is brought to you by ABBA E-Services. I mean, um, Did you see that it was going to be this? I had to. Kasi, Explain that. Uh, kasi if, if you want something, you're going to have to work hard every day and you have to really like, envision yourself in it. Yung parang, kailangan, kailangan mo maniwala eh, sa sarili mo. Kasi sa simula, wala pa namang ibang kakampi sa'yo except ikaw. With, you, you have to run with your idea. So, wag mo siyang isipin na it's gonna fail. Similarly, if you do make it, you know how some people all, people always say, ay, ay, alam mo, alagaan mo yung karir mo kasi hindi yan forever. Ha? Parang, ba't ka ganun mag-isip? Hindi ba, ba ang mas magandang isipin is how it can expand to things? Kesa isipin mo yung ending niya, parang, nanood ka, parang, 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 parang mong inakbayan yung kaibigan mo na, oy, yung girlfriend mo, magbe-break kayo niya na. One day. O kaya, one day, magiging friendship na lang to, tapos hindi, hindi na kayo magkikiss, okay? Parang, ba't mo gagawin yun sa kaibigan mo? ba diba? So, sa sarili mo rin, wag mong isipin yun. Parang, that's the wrong mindset. Parang, if you wanna be, if you wanna sustain something, don't think of its death. Parang, ba diba? That sentence sounds weird, eh. Ah, I'm preparing, I'm, I'm celebrating it by preparing for the end. Wow. That's like a doomsday thing. ba diba? Parang, think of how it can expand what it can also be. Hindi what it has to be when it dies. <laughs> Parang, why are you thinking of the tombstone? Diba? Parang, Think of ano the entire labo na isip ko talaga yung parang think Sige. of the entire think of the entire of everything that it can be. Eh, kasi it's endless eh. Yeah. And you can always it it not every venture might be successful but every push will will create something. Kasi ano yun eh. Ano, ne, neither created nor destroyed that energy. Neither, yeah, energy. Yeah. 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 So so yo, sina- push, sin- always push. Sinay mo na rin yon. Failure. Mm. How do you deal with it? Uh, learn, move on. Tapos uh, own. Madali ka ba mag move on? May mga things na mahirap ako let go. Um, hindi ko kasi yung mga viewers na basketball fans hanggang ngayon galit pa rin ako kay Zaza Pachulia. Kasi linigan niya ng paa si Kawhi Leonard. Linigan niya ng paa. Tapos napilayan si Kawhi. Tapos parang hindi man lang sinuspend yun tinake out niya yung superstar, lamang kami ng 26 nun. So hanggang ngayon talagang ramdam mo yun. Pag nakikita ko yung mukha niya. So talaga, talaga <laughs> intense. <laughs> pag basketball, intense ako. Lalo na pag tungkol sa San Antonio Spurs. So, Ever since. Yeah, yeah. Since, since tinalo niya yung favorite team ko before. <laughs> kaya ako lumipat eh. As in, literal ako yung, ano, yung lumipat sa kabilang team. Yung, <laughs> kasi dati, Detroit Pistons ako. Kasi gusto ko rin ng ganun, hard nose. Yeah. Tapos nung nakita ko kung paano maglaro yung Spurs, doon ko lang nakita na parang Wow, parang meron pa palang mas magandang basketball kaysa sa Detroit basketball, which was okay. San Antonio basketball. And I'm sure sa comment, someone might say na, actually may Golden State Warriors basketball na at yun na yung bagong San Antonio Spurs basketball. At yung coach nun ay dating Spurs player, Steve Kerr. So, si Steve Kerr. Uh, so, so, Tika, uh, si Steve Kerr nag, nag Spurs bas- oh, Spurs Chicago at saka... Uh, uh, tapos okay. Spurs, two, two, uh, one two rings with okay. the Spurs. So, ayan. So, failure, how do you deal with that talaga? Yun, face it, acknowledge, learn, tapos address, ad, parang there, there, are, there are certain fast, uh, aspects of failure na nasa control mo, may magagawa kayo, like what you, what you can do, yun, what you, pero parang kunyari, yung opinion ng ibang tao sa'yo tap, dahil, dahil hindi nag-work, huwag mo naisipin yung mga ganun kasi hindi mo naman kukontrol yun eh. Tsaka ano eh, mas maganda siguro na think, enjoy the process, not, yung, yung ano siya about the journey, not the destination. Yeah. So, so even if uh, uh, something isn't achieved, like tina mo parin kung ano yung mga nagawa in the process of trying. And uh, alam mo ano yun, You have to train yourself to do that, eh, yeah. Because ano yun eh, kailangan mo kasi maging positive eh. 
Pero maganda pa rin na acknowledge mo na na, na, may, na may failure para you learn kung saan nagkamali. And kung, yun. So, kailangan lang talaga constantly nag-a-assess kayo. Parang as a team, like we'll talk about, kanyari, may hindi, tayo nag, hindi maganda yung nangyari dito, what, ha- what went wrong, what can we do to fix it. Uh, tapos, may lagi kami may mga meetings, tsaka lagi kami nag-uusap. Ego. Yung LSD. Totoo uh, yun. Yung alam yung LSD? Yeah. Uh, L- L- what's LSD? Y- Ay, ano? Yung lead singer disease? Ah, w- parang yung lead singer kasi ng Sponge Cola. Wow, kunyari, nag-third person eh. <laughs> yung lead singer kasi ng Sponge Cola fan ng San Antonio Spurs eh. So, w- wala siyang ganun. Wala parang siya hindi LSD. siya yung parang look at me. Uh-huh. I am I am the bidang bida. Hindi. Kasi even sa like video games, I play a support hero sa Mobile Legends. Nag number 37 global ako using Angela, hero na support. So, Parang even the, my hero there supports like the killers of the game. And, and so parang even there, ganun pa rin ako. How I do e- 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 anything is how I do everything. Galing, oh. So parang it's... Ano, ano pala yun, quote yun na narinig ko, sinabi ni Jason Mraz, nung in-interview ni Jason Mraz yung wife ko for ASAP, tapos andun ako. Tapos nung sinabi niya yun, parang ang ganda nun na. Kasi recurring, ano yeah. yun eh, recurring strengths, recurring weaknesses. Yes. How you do anything is how you do everything. Yeah. Parang kunyari, kung buha ka ko sa basketball, chances are, pagka Basta, may buffet, buha, yeah. unahin mo rin lahat ng ulam mo, tapos parang, ano yun, bahala ba- yes. kayo. Parang, which can also work for you as a, a go-getter. That, yeah. that can work. Pero you might, baka masacrifice sa mga relationships mo. So magandang alam mo yung strengths and weaknesses again. Pero yun nga, parang, parang alam mo rin eh, na, na kung may tendency ka maging na may, may flaw ka, magre-record din yun in other things you do. If you're, yeah, you, if you're at, kanyari, if you're sipag, Galing. usually hanggang, ano lang, hanggang third quarter ka lang masipag of everything, baka mag-record din siya. Kilala ko yung sinasabi mo, ha? Yung mga ganyan. Yung mga hanggang third quarter lang yung sipag. May mga ganun. Hindi, hindi. Awayin ka rito. Hindi, pero, hindi, may mga ganun. Ano yan, alien, alien. Hindi, ano ba to? Uh, si, uh, is, is he a player na pinanganak noong 1984? Ako, 1984 ba pinanganak? December 30, 1984. Ako, si ano ba ito? Eh, ayaw ko sabihin yung name niya kasi nasa LA tayo. Baka nang galit. Si L-E-B-R-O. Sa akin, okay lang yun. Kasi wala akong problema. Basta ako Laker ako. Ah, Lakers ka since panahon nila worthy? Nila, ano, nila... Elden Campbell? Yeah, Campbell. Pati yung Showtime Lakers. Ah! Ako Laker girls. Yung mga... Wow. Nice, nice. So, like... <laughs> oh, ito. Ito magandang tanong to. You have every opportunity to leave the band. 20 years na diyan ka pa rin. Believe ako sa mga singers na ganun. Kasi nasa kamay mo ang ano eh, ang kapalaran ng mga kabanda mo eh. Andiyan ka pa rin. Bakit? I think it's a mutual thing eh. Parang I don't think I'm as good kung hindi sila yung band. Wala 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 kang LSD. So okay. Yeah, yeah. Tsaka, sobrang ang sarap ng work environment namin. Parang alam mo, pag bumukas yung pinto ng van, tapos sumakay ka na, yun talaga yung parang, oh, okay, sino kaya magpapatawa ngayon? Alam mo parang, tsaka ano eh, kasi... Pero naisip mo ba, did it ever cross your mind, mag-solo kaya ako? Iniisip ko dati, iniisip ko siya, as para for the sake of inisip, yung parang ano kaya nangyari kung nag-solo ako? Tingin ko, tahimik sa van, kasi ako lang yung nandun. <laughs> tapos, parang corny, kasi pagyari, pagta-travel kami, tapos hindi ko, hindi, ko, hindi ko friends yung kasama ko. Alam ko, alam mo, feeling ko, ayun, correct me if I'm wrong, feeling ko kaya ka hindi nag-solo. Kasi tayong, tayong mga ENFP. Gusto natin habang umaangat tayo, yung mga kasama natin umaangat din eh. Oh, baka ganun. That, that, could, that could be a thing. Pero yung parang, wala eh. Ano rin kasi eh. Wala, hindi kasi kami prefab. So, nun, when we got, alam ko yung, parang nakita yes. ko rin yung growth namin isa-isa. Parang, ang... Ang hirap masira nung narrative eh. Although we have one member who left when na, na, naglabas kakalab, he's a YouTuber. Eh. Tapos naglabas din siya ng YouTube video recently na inexplain niya ba siya umalis. And we're still like really good friends. Like kausap ko siya madalas. Sino like, to? Si his name is Chris Cantada. Ah, okay. uh, yung YouTube channel niya is uh, called Chris Cantada Force. It has like 1.48 million subscribers. Ayop, no? Ganun ko ganun memorize ko yung number ng subscribers niya at kung anong number niya ng cellphone niya. Stalker! So, oh, hindi, ibig ko sabihin, <laughs> friends pa rin kami para ko alalaan nila ito. Yes, Memorize yes. ko yung address ng bahay niya. So, ba't siya umalis? Hindi niya kinaya yung schedule. Kasi, ayaw niya maging pabigat na kailangan na namin mag no to gigs since we all love doing it. Bakit niya, um, wa- so hindi niya priority? Hindi, nangyari Nothing kasi. Nothing against Chris. Hindi, huh? nabugbog talaga yung katawan niya. Like, kinento nga niya doon sa YouTube video niya na may gigig kami, let's say, Batangas, tapos private event tapos bar na, na gig tapos 
Tapos UP Fair ng 2 a.m. Tapos, Grabe, and ano? then we would do that mga five to six days a week. Habang nagsiskool pa yun, ha? parang may school, tapos may tatlong gig, dalawang gig, apat na gig, tapos weekdays, ganyan. So, nabububog talaga siya. Tsaka siya kasi, pag tumutugtog siya, fa- ano siya eh, Foo Fighters fan siya eh. So, oh. as a drummer, t- may time na tinaas na yung hi-hat niya. E di ba basta kapagod yun kung ang taas yeah. doon? So, tapos, ano, intense siya tumugtog. Hindi siya yung parang laid-back drummer na ganyan. Hindi siya parang, ano right. man, hindi eh. Ano talaga? All in every time. So, nag-start siya magkaroon ng sobrang daming injuries. Tsaka, yung mga van ride, out of town, nagkakaroon siya ng lower back problems. Of course. Yeah, tapos kasi, he used to be, ano eh, uh, he used to be much bigger. I'm not sure if we're gonna have to edit that out. No. Because that might be mean. I don't, no. Hindi ko kasi alam, hindi, alam naman niya yun eh. But he lost weight na medyo mabilis. So naging sakitin siya in the process. Parang he went from being, and he knows this, he went from 240 to about mga, now he's like fit. He's like, naka-Power Ranger costume siya. Eh. Kailangan pag ganun, wala kang chan eh. Yeah. Diba? Parang may, may hulma yun eh para ma- ma-achieve. So, Pero ang galing, yeah. ang galing ng outlook na nag-part ways kayo. Successful mm. siya, successful yeah. kayo. You guys are still friends. Yeah, yeah. Diba? Yeah. Tsaka ano, he still plays drums. Kaka-start lang niya ulit ng YouTube channel niya na all about playing drums naman. Tapos magaling kasi siya mag-drums eh. So, Tapos ibang iba yung style din niya sa drums ni Ted. Kasi yun napansin ko talaga eh. Pagka nagpalit kayo ng drummer, ang laki ng ibang Mag-iba. iba. Ibang-iba ang drummer, parang yung... It's like having a different point guard and coach. Yep. Parang pagka yung, yung feel, lahat iba. Parang... Alam mo ba, na ano laro mo sa basketball, point guard, di ba? Point guard, I guess. Alam mo sa banda, and p- pwede tayo magkaroon ng, ng kwentuhan dito, ang drummer ang point guard. Ako tingin ko, oh. siya magdidictate ng napakaraming things. Yep. Ikaw, ang role mo kung banda to, ikaw ang power forward. Ikaw, kasi ikaw ang ano eh, ikaw ang frontman eh. Ikaw ang nagdadala ng bola hanggang dul. Ikaw ang ikaw ang mag uh, magfi-finish ng ano ng play. Naisip ko kasi iba-iba yung teams na iniisip ko kaya parang iba-iba yung role ng bawat power forward na naisip oh, game, ko. Game, game. Oh, okay. Nene, kasi parang tingin ko baka baka ano eh kung power forward baka Dirk Nowitzki. Okay. Yung kasi again, ginag- nakita ko yung mga ginagawa ni Dirk like nanalo siya ng teammate of the year. Sabi nung gusto ko ng kampe mo eh. Hindi ka naman live vote noon na parang yeah. joke, 'di ba? Hindi naman ganoon ka-sarcastic lahat ng player eh. Tapos Uh, nakikita ko na, sabi nga niya, siya mismo nagsabi, kasi nakikita ko rin to eh. Parang, I don't know, I guess my teammates like me even though I keep yelling at them all the time. <laughs> kasi parang, nakita ko lagi yung sinisigawan si Jason Terry. Eh, pero kung, kung, kung para i-motivate naman oh, sila, oh. di ba? O kaya dahil may mali. Kunyari, oh. tumi, tumira ng maaga sa shot clock, tapos natirahan tuloy sila na kabila. Parang ba di mo inubos yung oras dun? Di ba? Parang basic naman yun, di ba? Yun, ganun yung mga sinisigawan niya. So, tama lang naman. Yeah. Tama naman siya. Eh, leadership yun eh. Yes. So, that's what it takes. So, tama. You know what? Dirk Nowitzki, pero Dirk Nowitzki siguro, kung power forward. Kasi may mga power forward ngayon na ang role na lang talaga mas rumibound na lang eh. Parang ganoon. So si Ted, kailan dumating sa banda nyo? Mga, oh, ano, 2009 was the year it happened. Yeah. So ilan, okay, mga... Tagal na rin siya. May isang, no, 2009, so may isang dekada na kayo ng mga, hindi, ah, wala pa. May, uh, mas matagal na siyang nag-drums sa kaysa Sponge kay, kaysa, kay Ted, kaysa kay Chris. Kaysa kay Chris. Yeah, yeah. So si Chris, parang since nung start-ish, mga... Mga 02 to 08. O oh, tama. So, so when, ano, when, when Ted came in, he had, he had big shoes to fill. Yeah, yeah. Diba? Tapos okay naman kasi iba rin yung style ni Ted. He's a hip-hop drummer. Eh. So, mas maposte siya. Si right. Chris kasi mas marols eh. Yes. Yun nga yung joke ni Armon nung nagja-jamming kami. Parang, ano yun, nagpunta ka ba sa bake shop? Kasi ang dami mong rolls eh. <laughs> parang tapos sabi ko, mahilig ka ba sa mga luxury car? Kasi parang nagda-drive ka ng Rolls Royce. <laughs> Okay, 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 mga drama. Kaya umalis. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Dahil pangit yung joke ko na pahabol, mas maganda yung kay Armo. O, mas maganda yung bake shop eh. Hindi, mas relatable. Hindi, pero ano, um, yun talaga, it was really a health thing. So, nung pumasok, nung pumasok si Ted, ano nga, parang yeah, big shoes to fill, pero para, magaling rin kasi si Ted. Like, drummer siya ng Happy Meals before, uh, drummer siya ng Out of Body Special. Uh, tapos hip-hop talaga yung style niya. May, nag- may iba siyang nabibigay sa table. May Tsaka, ang, flavor. Tapos sobrang daling mag-record dahil yung metronome niya. Swak. Oo, every time. Tsaka ako kunyari, ako kasi nag edit ng after we play a gig, uh, yung footage namin sa show, diretso ako sa laptop, edit ako. Tapos ipopost ko by a certain hour. Like sabihin ko, i-announce ko sa gig, na, ipopost ko to by 11.34pm. So do not disturb ka after the gig. After the gig, diretsong editing. Pero mabilis ako mag-edit. Para akong yung mga sakasal eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, kaya madali mag-edit sa akin kasi si Ted, yung metronome, hindi nagbabago. So, pag i-copy-paste ko, lagi siya nasa, hindi bumibilis. So, laging madali. Right. So, kahit na i-sync ko yung music, kung, if I need to sync music, sync lagi. 
sa metro. Siya sin pwede mo siya sabihin na kunyari nagdrum siya. Para sabihin mo, pwede mong itaas to 128 yung BPM. Sige. So, kaya alam niya yung content, kaya niya gawin yung 128. Parang, Galing, no? Para siyang ano, para para na siyang ano, parang robot in that way. So ito ay landing natin at commitment is important, right? Yes. Sino nagse-set ng pace sa Sponge Cola? Like sinabi mo ang daming gigs. Mm-hmm. Who gets final say na marami tayong gigs? Actually management just says just pretty much says yes to the gigs and then they just they just tell us na parang itong schedule natin guys ah. Tapos yung management din namin kasi uh, ano rin sila like constantly kausap nila yung ibang mga managers para alam din nila yung uh, yung yung scene. So alam din nila lahat ng inner workings of things like you know that you know that kind of thing. So um may mga questions lang naman sila minsan like kunyari okay lang ba sa inyo mag back to back tayo ng uh, may, may, may gig kami nung ano recently pag uwi ko galing states nung April, I was here for Coachella you know, daw Coachella yeah. April tapos pag, pag balik namin sa Manila after mga two days we flew to uh, Bicol tapos we did five shows pag tinanong lang sa akin five shows five shows in three days okay lang ba sa inyo parang one two one two one parang ganun parang kasi kailangan niya check kasi baka maubos boses ko yeah tapos parang ang sabi ko lang parang uh, galit tayo pandemic eh. So oo ako sa kahit anong bagay na hindi ko kailangan magstay sa bahay masyado. Parang I just miss playing man. So yes to all. Tapos like organizers took care of us. Like we stayed in the in the nicest hotel there. Parang may, 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 like overlooking the volcano. Sarap. Tapos parang ganda dito ah. This is the life. Tapos parang ano man, parang parang ang bakasyon to play. So fulfillment one, fulfillment two. Parang yung vacation heart mo tapos yung music heart check. Galing, no? Tapos sila Ellie also did the same same hotel. Tapos sila parang they also did like five shows. Same eh ganoon din. Maraming I guess bulk yeah. yung mga shows doon. Maraming gumagawa nung sked na yun. So, yeah. Hayo, nakakatuwa because hindi ka namin hindi ko pwedeng sabihin na hindi ka namin mili ng gig, but at the same time, ina-acknowledge mo yung blessings na dumarating sa iyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kasi yun talaga eh, parang ang sarap eh. Sarap tumugtog eh. Tsaka parang ang it's really just a matter of kung ok kung kaya ba ng katawan na, na tsaka yung hindi mako compromise yung performance. Tapos kami kahit kung, if you check our Canada sked, may yung there's this one place there yung Lethbridge. Yeah. Uh, matagal na daw walang tumutugtog doon according to the organizers. Tapos kasi parang ako kasi I like playing for the 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 smaller towns then, not just the big ones. Kasi gusto ko rin mag-explore. I just want to meet people, I mean, and talk to people and hear yeah. what Filipinos there have to say. Kasi ang saya mak- mahilig ako mag mag-travel eh. So ang sarap makarinig ng mga kwento ng parang gano'ng katagal ka na nandito. Chances are hindi pa nakaka-uwi yan. Kasi ang mahal ng mga flight umuwi eh. Yeah. So yung mga tao parang nag-ipon na lang muna, stay na lang muna dito, ano, uh, Facebook chat na lang muna sila with ano, family. So at least I mean, para may kausap silang taga Pinas. And ako naman kasi para I really care. I'm not, I, I never ask kamusta. Alam mo yung small talk kamusta? Yung kamusta oh. tapos hindi naman nakatingin sa'yo. Kamusta? Anyway, yung parang hindi mo naman tinatanong kung kamusta ako, sinabi lang ng bibig mo yun, autopilot yun eh. Alam mo, ang ganyan ang sinabi mo yan because yan ang reason kung bakit tayo may Pacos Place. Ah. Oh, there you go. Kasi, kasi pag, pag nagsasabi ako, uh, pag sasabihin ako ng, oh, kamusta pa ako? And then eager ka magkwento tapos hindi naman nakikinig sa'yo, di ba? Uh, parang hindi pala seryoso. Ano yun? In the words of my wife, charot-charot lang pala. Ah, charot-charot. Charot-charot lang. So, sabi na namin nila, JJ, you know, gawa tayo ng platform na po siya. Pag kinamusta natin sila, talagang kakausap oh, oh. natin silang lahat. Yung real answers, that's real to real, real questions, real answers, yeah. hindi masabi lang. So, ganun. So, Man. ayun, parang we play a lot of these places kasi gusto ko talagang, tsaka gusto kong maging bisita sa mga lugar na hindi rin na, napupuntahan ng lahat. Kasi going the extra mile yun eh. Yeah. Tsaka yun nga, we just... Gusto ko rin mag picture taking kasama tsaka kasama ko yung mga bandmates ko parang ganito pala dito ang ganda. Tapos ginugol ko na yung mga restaurant na gusto kong i-check. So talaga may preparation. Oh, oh, oh. Something oh, to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. Again it goes back to your visualization of everything that yeah. you do. Hindi yan bara-bara, talaga pinaplano mo, talaga may goal. Ang ang nag-iba lang ng konti ah, after the pandemic. Hindi pa naman after kasi we're still in it kind of but Kinda? but yeah. we're just gonna power through. But anyway, um ang nag-iba lang Dati, nag i ako one day before. Ngayon, pag may gig kami, kahit, ano pa, kahit nearby, let's say Cavite, we have a gig, nakapack na ako four days prior. But what, what changed? Sobrang, mas excited pa ako now more than ever tumugtog. <laughs> na, nakapack, alam mo ba, Canada, November 1 ng departure namin, um, nakapack na ako parang mga October 4? October 3? Talaga! Ganun ka-excited. <clears throat> parang, tapos, 
feeling ko nga baka kailangan ko pang ipalaba yung mga iba dahil baka nagka-dust na eh. Alam mo so, Hindi naman siguro. Nasa loob naman ng maleta. maleta. Pero ba diba, parang ando na sila. Ando na. As in, na, 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 naisip ko kunyari, asan yung favorite shirt ko? Nakaganon sa loob o. Oh. <laughs> Alam mo yun, parang ando, ando na siya. Nakaredy na yung, yung, yung shirt na susuotin ko sa first gig sa Calgary. Alam ko na kung ano. So, let me visualize mo talaga. Oh. Okay. Ilanding natin to. Sa mga taong walang ginawa sa buhay kundi puro excuses. You're one, you're one example of someone na hindi nagbibigay ng excuse. Mm-hmm. What can you advise our audience, our listeners, and our viewers? Keep in mind na at any point, pwedeng magkaroon ng next pandemic. Alam mo yun, it might not be COVID, it might be something much worse, you know what I mean? So parang now na naka-experience na tayo ng ganito, keep in mind that life is short and you have to really like, time is gold. So if there's that thing that you always wanted to do, you might as well do it kasi might be over soon. You never know. You never know. Or you could get hit by a bus. You never know. Sana hindi bus. And they could get hit by a car. Masakit pa rin yan. Eh. Oh. Pero basta, do- you might get hit. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates. Ang realtor na pato. Ang chi- a cheesy and cliche, pero do it. You just have to do it. Kasi sayang eh. Kung di mo ginawa, parang diba, fade out lang yung ending, tapos hindi mo na natry. So, so yun. Tapos, work hard. You can be systematic. That will help. Parang... Pwedeng may mga days ka magpahinga pero kung ito, may ginagawa ko na every day that you have to do like at least one thing that furthers that f- that takes you a step closer to that dream. Kahit one thing lang. Kunyari, kahit w- write a song today ng homework mo. Tapos kung hindi maganda yung kanta, pakinggan mo yung kanta. Tapos, kunyari, piniplayback mo na. Hindi masyado maganda. Pero at least, alam ko na pwede itong, may, meron akong pwedeng itry na ganito or itong chord progression to hindi nag-work for me. So baka dapat iba. Mga ganyan, mga, para lang, kasi it, the more you do it, the ng regular mas madaling gawin siya kaysa kapag out of nowhere biglang kalakalawan ka parang eh but tech, tech free throw shooting so always shoot your free throw so ganun parang just keep doing that was it doesn't have to be directly music mus- like, even just ano eh orderin mo na yung piece ng equipment na alam mo makakatulong sa sa recording kunyari that interface na nisip mo parang mahal eh yon 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 mga ganun parang medyo mahal ng konti eh pero parang kung makakaganda yan kunin mo na kasi It, I mean, baka pwedeng huwag ka na lang muna mag-deliver, magpa-deliver ng pagkain, mag, mag-grocery ka right, muna para right. magtipid ka somewhere else. If if it's if, if there's a budgeting problem, maybe just budget your way through it. Like, huwag ka muna mag, mag-coffee ng mahal. Kasi $5 yung coffee mo eh. Pwede ka naman mag-order ng Batangas <laughs> coffee na may coffee so, maker ka sa bahay. Oo, oh. oh, yun. So, bili ka na lang kape sa bahay para huwag ka na mag-coffee na, na uh, ano. Huwag mo na gawing excuse yung kasi nagmamadali ako eh. Um, um, and then, gumising ka na 5 minutes earlier, gawa ang kape. So yun, ganun. It, yun, pero yun, um, do it. And do it fast. Do it now. And you can be systematic like like that. Like one thing a day to further your cause there. Yeah. Are you doing it? Yeah, yeah. As in every day. Parang there's something. Um, yeah, like it counts to like even like take a nice picture of like a sunset tapos magagamit mo yun for like your social media post at one point. Okay, parang even ganun, eh, simple as that can also work. But it depends, syempre. You, you might need to do bigger things lalo na sa simula to get the ball rolling. So, baka dapat is to, it's always to keep writing that killer song. Try to find that first. Try to write your own pare ko. That first, parang, web, that first, ano, parang this is us kind of song. Kasi yun yun eh, doon nakilala ang heads at, at first eh, nung narinig ng mga tao yung pare ko, parang, wow, nagbabad words. Parang, parang such irreverent college kids from yes. UP. Tapos parang, I like this punk attitude. You know? Hindi naman punk yung tugtugan necessarily, pero may punk vibe. Yep. Tapos meron talaga silang irreverence na wala wala silang pakialam in a way na hindi kami hindi pinapala hindi siya ano ah wala kaming pake kaya pinapakita namin wala kaming pake ah hindi wala kaming pake kita mo talaga pag kumakanta si Ellie parang yeah ah gusto niyo ba to ah sorry kala ko okay lang eh parang ganun yung sarcastic na ganun ay, ay, yun talaga eh parang ang, and it came out during a time ng grunge yung yep. sabay so parang kung yung America may Nirvana at yung Australia, may silver chair. Gusto ko na ipasok yun. Uh, tayo, meron tayong eraser heads na ganun na ganong irreverent na ano, na tutugtog sa noon time show, magdi-disassemble ng gamit. Diba? Para mong piloso po. Kasi parang, ang sarap naman ng punk rock na to. Papapalit na mga posisyon. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Ang ganda. <laughs> Nakita ko talaga eh. Tapos yung mukha parang deadpan. Yeah. Parang talagang ano po, talagang, ah, bakit? May ginagawa ba kaming masama? Ganda eh. So as a kid, I saw that and I liked it. And it makes you feel like, you, you know, you can break some rules. Wala naman nasasaktan pag dinisassemble mo yung gamit eh. 
Pinapakita mo lang na dapat ang performance kasi totoo. Parang yun naman yung, yeah. yun naman yung statement nun eh. So, ayun eh. Bands needed to really do that nung 90s feeling ko kasi parang, parang kailangan mo rin ipakita na kasi ang bands, this is it, this is us. I mean, we, we, we legit, we play our own stuff, play our own instruments, record our own songs, and here we are. Ayan, so, yeah. Any, 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 ano, any, any plans of stopping soon? Anytime Never. Anytime soon? I can't, eh. I have to do this till I die. Parang it's a commitment to, ano, parang ano to eh, sa Game of Thrones, yung, I'll always be a knight. Parang, and I will die a knight. The, the answer to that though was a, a naked knight. Kasi nagtanggal ng damit si Barristan Selmy sa, ano to, uh, I think season one, uh, tapos tumaway mga tao. Pero kasi angas nun eh. Supposedly, ata paglabas niya dun sa room, may mga nagtry mag-stop sa kanya, pero kaya niya ng walang weapon, sinupakan lang niya. So, kasi ganun siya katinding knight. But anyway, I, I read the books eh. So, um, like, no? I'm a fan of Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon. I love it so much. I love it so much. Puro goosebumps. Puro goosebumps yan. Hindi lang. Sarap, ang ganda nung, nung pelikula eh. And, and looking at you, nakakatuwa because I'm very, very proud of you. Do you feel blessed? I actually feel very blessed to not, to be able to like sit here, talk to you, um, and share this with this conversation with people. Um, alam ko lang na may magko-comment na ang bilis niya magsalita. <laughs> ang daldal niya pala. Tapos parang uh, Yael height reveal naman. Uh, <laughs> I get a lot of short jokes eh. Parang, parang, alam, parang akong restaurant eh, short, short orders only. Hindi, marami. Sanay, sanay na ako, ang dami ko ng mga jokes sa sarili ko. Parang, ako nga, ako lang yata yung lead singer na conscious na parang pag bumaba ako sa audience, I know we're, we're interacting much better dahil now we're face to face, but I have to really stand on something because I'm really short. So hindi na ako kita ng mga nasa likod na likod. Pero yun, parang, ano naman, dahil malakas yung core ko, kaya ko tum- tumayo sa yeah, taas yeah, yeah. ng barricade yeah. na naka-engage yung core yes, buong time. Yes. Workout yun. Planks yun. Tsaka running 5K every Pero day. galing eh, di ba? Ginagawan mo ng paraan. Yep. All the time. Kailangan hindi, eh. Hindi dahilan. Kailangan talaga eh. Tsaka ano, parang alam na rin ni Angie pag uh, nagsaset up ng sound sa live na kailangan, alam ko yung mga, yung, alam yun, parang hindi mag-feedback yung mic ko yes. pag andun ako sa pwesto na yan. So, pati yung positioning ng mga speakers, we we talk things through. Yeah. Tapos, it's, it's, a, it's a really, si Angie, sobrang saya kasama. It's like, Um, para kaming tsaka parang napaka humble na tao yan yeah sobra yeah. he's such a nice guy tapos parang fun lang yan kasi parang walang dull moment kasi pwede lang siya mag start mag kwento tapos parang upo ka lang sa tabi niya tapos parang okay to ah parang yes. ang dami niyang kwento sa music scene na uh, ang dami niyang ang dami niyang hinawakan na na gano'n nag platinum na kanta yeah tsaka iba ibang genre ano yes. parang walang pinipili merong everything from metal to pop mm-hmm. lahat ng yung from 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 quiet and polished ty- stuff to metal na gritty. Parang lahat. So, yeah. Saya, saya. Tsaka sarap mag-record kasama siya. Tsaka pag pinag- pinag- pinapagtripan niya ako, natatawa rin talaga ako. Yung mga tipong, ano, parang twice na nangyari, nag-gitar, track ako ng gitar. Tapos siya, yeah, pwede mong gawin, ano, piso-piso lang yung strumming. Yung, yung one, one. Doon ginagawa ko na parang, biglang gin- gitna na stinap niya parang yel wag na lang hindi mo magawa eh <laughs> wag mo lang ginagawa mo kanina okay na yun <laughs> tapos yung mukha agad niya yung nakaganon sa taas ng monitor diba yung ganun yun kasi pag alam ng mga yes. engineer yun eh na pagka nag-record ka kailangan mo gumanon yup so, uh, yel yung kanina na lang hindi mo magawa na tama eh oo oh, sige tapos alam ko na ta- alam ko na may tawa ng konti yun dun sa pagbago mag space bar para <laughs> yung pa fade out so pag ginagano ka niya hindi ka, na, hindi ka na yeah. challenge hindi naman hindi kasi alam ko naman na ano eh parang ako naman nagsulat ng song eh so ginawa ko na yung homework right. ko na mabigat parang mahirap naman hindi ako kasing galing ni Arm mag guitar eh I'm like a para akong ano eh I'm a placeholder guitarist okay okay I'll okay. do what needs to be done minsan mag harmonize kami ng lead parts pero si Arm does the bulk of the work and I really want him to do it because parang ano yun eh parang why use a screwdriver to ano to to to, to, to cut something in half Parang, Oo nga. Uh, diba siya na lang? Okay. Ano bagong challenge mo sa sarili mo? Hmm. Um, we're releasing uh, regional stuff very soon. So, hindi ko alam man yung challenge dun. Parang in-announce ko lang yata. It's Market, more of... Marketing direction na naman yun. At saka it's more I- of... Iba-iba simultaneous. Yeah. So, yung sabihin, may materials catered to this demo, demographic or this region. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Material catered Parang, to this. Yeah, in Asia. So... I don't know, pero I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be fun because there's gonna be a lot of meetings uh-huh. and I'm a people person and alam ko na there's gonna be a lot of mid-air adjustments and I love that. Yung parang I'll be on my toes. 
So, yun, exciting yun. Um, we're also releasing an album December 14. Okay. Mm, um, I'm also, ano pa ba? Uh, we're doing a major concert December 14. But kung nakakalimutan yung mga ganun, it's called Bottoms Up because we're two decades na kaming banda so it's like a celebration of that. It's gonna be in Peta Theater. It's gonna be a theatrical performance like no other. So may, may, ano, may arc, may scene talaga. Parang ganun eh. Uy. Like, like it's like watching a play. Ooh. Pero pero full band pero play. Okay. So parang I hope people like it because there's going to be acting in it. Directed by Paolo Valenciano who of course approved this very uh insane idea. Kasi I don't think it's been done I, na band may, the, the band will actually act. Kasi may mga musicals na based yeah. on the songs of uh like Sugar Free, Razorheads, uh Ages. Pero yung mismong band yung tutugtog. Kakataka na Ages? Hindi, I mean, yung Ages, yung Rock of Ages. Like, they had the, may play, may play. Kala ko naman. Hindi, hindi, hindi ko kaya. <laughs> ibang range yung, hindi, ibang range yung okay, Ages. Okay. Uh, wala ako nung ganung kadaming octaves. Yung octaves ko, gitara lang. Tudugbo siya. So, ano, <laughs> yun lang. Hindi lang ang ginagawa ko pa nag-solo. Anyway. So, ayun. Um, yeah. A lo- lots of, we have a collab with someone. Hindi ko alam pwede ko na sabihin eh. Pero si Morissette yung kakollab namin. Uh, so I just said it. Um, exciting, exciting. Uh, all in twi- all in, in, in the year 2022 or 2023. Yeah, yeah twi- parang, parang 2022 to 2023. So early part of the year. So habang na- and we're gonna be back here sa US because we may US tour kami. So susuro na pa ako sa place makasama na yung banda. Masaya yun. Uh-huh. Masaya yun. Hindi kasi hindi naman to one time one time thing eh. Kailangan ano to eh. Kailangan tuwing nandito ka. Dalaw lang. Eh, sayan, imagine ko na. Magpa-park kami doon banda sa labas. Sige. Tapos, malaman kasi ang gagawin namin, mag- mag-re-rent naman ako ng car. Saan mo barbecue tayo? Agahan natin, di ba? Sige. Okay, sayan, excited na ako. Saan so, naglaway ako ng konti. <laughs> Parang, meron kasi akong recipe for chicken na okay. Oh, game. Sige, sige, sige. Saan na pa? Ano pa ba? Um, ang daming mangyayari pala. Ang daming mangyayari. Actually, yun nga eh, parang puro meeting kami tapos parang Kailangan ko pumunta dito kasi for a wedding eh. So, yeah. pero hin- hinahanap na nila ako dun eh. Alam mo yun? Kasi we have a lot of stuff to do. Medyo busy times eh. Kasi nga, we leave for Canada November. Ayun. Yeah, promote ko pala yun. We're gonna be in Canada. Uh, November. You'll promote it. Yeah. Promote natin yung mamaya. So, ah, sige, sige, sige. So, yeah. the show. Uh, pero yun, yung mga plans, yun. So, there's gonna be a lot of... Uh, f- basically, when you release regional for the first time, it's gonna be like you're a fish out of water. Yeah. Y- you're not gonna rely on your old catalog. You're gonna reintroduce yourself to a new set of people. A lot of them. Para will, back to zero. Oh, tapos a lot of them are like much younger than you, so you're not gonna be as relatable. I mean, hindi siya as like hindi siya like one is to one na fit. So ambaon mo lang talaga yung experience mo. Experience, songwriting. Yes. Chaka smi- smile, yep. smile, smile and hope for the best. Anong ganon? Okay, sa dami ng ginagawa mo, I won't keep you, ladies and gentlemen. Sponge Colas Yell, you son. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also follow them on social media. Kaya abangan yung mga kaibigan. Thanks, brother. Ang ganda ng guitar tone nito, ah. I know, right? Is this you? No. What is this? Generic. Talaga? Galing naman yung generic na to? Ano kaya first name niya?